Bro. Hi, this is Justin Roberts, and you are listening to Three Count Thursday. Hope you enjoy it. A little bit of the bubbly. I did it for the rock. Give me what I want. Everyone has a price for the million dollar man. <laughs> It's about the 14 years it took me to go from undesirable to un-goddamn deniable! Mamma mia! Three ain't enough, now I need five. Welcome in Jim, Ryan, Matt, Tim, and intern Mark. I change the questions. Good evening. We are officially on that road. You know the road. You know the road. It's sign pointing season. It's WrestleMania season. We got tons to talk about this week here on Three Count Thursday, the podcast of the millennium. It is Thursday, January 30th, 2020. A legend returns, Drew's big moment, major changes. But first, our show is here on uh, our Facebook page. You can also follow us on Twitter at 3 Count Thursday, Instagram at 3 Count Thursday. Head over to 3 countthursdaycom That's the homepage. You can find our merchandise at whatamaneuver.net. What a maneuver. You can uh, check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash 3 Count Thursday. Our home network, NGSC Sports, at NGSCSports.com. We also stream live, simulcast live, and stream daily at LeapSports.com. That's L-E-E-I-B Sports.com. Thank you very much. But, uh, yeah, make sure you also check out our Collar and Elbow brand deal. If you go to store.collarandelbowbrand.com, you can get 10% off each and every order with the promo code 3 Mia. No. That's on the intro now, though. Oh, I thought that's why we put it there. No, 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 no. It is still just the promo code. Promo code. Three count. Three count. The number three, never the word. I got my things mixed up. That's that's the, the one. The number three, never the word. That is the one. Yeah, Scott. Uh, see, Scotty, I saw this picture posted earlier. Would you eat a burger with bacon and Oreos? I saw the picture earlier. A burger with bacon on it. Yes. Oreos. Oreos uh, on the burger. Like a lot of Oreos or like I think an it was Oreo? Like, it looked like one like mega stuff Oreo. I don't think I... mean, I, I like I mean, burgers. Here's the thing. I could do it. Right. I wouldn't order it or want to eat it. Like if somebody is like, here, you want to try this. Like maybe if like they did it on like a slider. Okay. If you did like a slider with, with a like a mini, mini Oreo, Oreo, then maybe I would give that a go. Yep. Um, See, we don't get off on food tangents. Y'all take us there. Yeah, yeah, we don't just do it. That's on yeah, you. Yeah, Jason, uh, unfortunately, uh, like we, when we were live on Sunday, the uh, the news about Kobe Bryant, and of course, uh, the, the other pastors, his daughter, the, the other families, and everybody affected by that, uh, our thoughts are, uh, continue to be with them. Yeah, uh, that was... Their families and friends. Definitely a, uh, a tough week uh, in the, uh, the sports and entertainment world. Um, Devin, I did not... See you on uh, AEW TV this week because I didn't watch AEW TV this week. Oh, Jim, I also did not. I also did not watch NXT this week. So it is not because I'm uh, I'm not a uh, a sour on AEW. That is not why. Um, t- t- Scotty says Tim's on the Brock Lesnar schedule. Uh, we like to compare it more to uh, CM Punk on WWE backstage, but either way, part time performers. <laughs> um no i mean yeah i mean 2020 has been off to a rough st- start scotty and obviously uh um was a nascar driver uh was a, i believe michael andretti today yeah today yeah. so uh definitely uh definitely been a rough january but we I only feel like the years always start off rough though yeah i mean i feel like every month there's a lot of like tragedy and yeah i mean 
you know, it's un- I'm not. It, it, it's it's inevitable. People pass away, and it um, is inevitable when it's unexpected. Um, or somebody I think as as beloved as somebody like Kobe, that's tough. And uh, here's I'm not a basketball fan, no, at all. Um, but to act like I didn't know the contributions of what Kobe Bryant did for the sport, and like his philanthropy outside of of the sport of basketball, um, and, and knowing like he died, you know, doing what he loved, being a sports father, and and a girl dad. Um, I've seen a lot of posts this week of like my friends and. And fellow workers, uh, with like the girl dad thing, kind of yeah, giving a, a nod I've... to to those girl dads out there that that do those things with their daughters. Um, so you know, and and I think like the one guy had said in the comments, it's it's nice that we were, I mean, not nice that we were all together, but when we found out and, and it broke, we were together on air last week, um, and, and it made it tough to finish the show. It really did. Like we weren't necessarily focused. I think our show definitely dropped off after that. Yeah, um, it's, from uh, it's, from an us point of view, like it just wasn't much to celebrate in the moment. But um, yeah, we, I mean, we got back on track as best as we could. Yeah, but luckily, um, like the Royal Rumble was that night, and it, and it allowed us to to take our minds off of a situation for a while and, yeah, and just be a fan. Yeah, of and, something. and I think it's like a good place to start because, like, you know, it has been kind of a rough week, and and. I mean, yeah, you bring up the girl dad stuff and, and, you know, my, my wife brought up a great point today and like, yeah, we, I mean, I never, I never really watched the NBA. Uh, my wife doesn't either. Um, but I know the, the Kobe's final game, I watched the entire fourth quarter. Right. Um, and you know, so like he, I, he was just, he was just, um, d- different. He was absolutely different. He was, he was a, um, you know, generational player and, um, with the girl dad stuff, you know, it's like, I think a lot of times, especially in the sports world. And, and I think there was a, a time when Kobe was on Jimmy Kimmel. I think he talked about how like people come up to say, Oh, you know, you, you probably want to keep having a kid. So you have a boy to like carry on the legacy. And he said his daughter, Gigi, who uh, unfortunately passed away, um, in the, in the accident uh, on Sunday, um, was like, no, I got this. Right. And like, you know, she was on on her way uh, to, to potentially a great career. Um, and, you know, maybe like this situation will help people realize, like, you don't have to have a boy to like right. do big things, you know, and and, um, and, and and then talking about the Royal Rumble and, you know, how good it was and how we were able to just kind of escape like Sunday uh, right after we got off the air. Uh, I had there was a voicemail from my mom and yeah, like, you had an awful and I was right. like, ugh, like, what is she? You know, like cause sometimes it's just like, you know, I got I got my schedule of things to do today. Like, I don't really want to get like knocked off my uh, my schedule of events. And here uh, my grandma was out to lunch with my great aunt um, and had a fall. And she at that point, like, you know, my mom had left me a message. They like weren't short. Sure, they were on her way to the hospital. Uh, and here she ended up breaking her thigh bone. Oh. That's the femur. Yikes. Yes, she That's broke her boat. femur. She got like a, a gash in her head. Had to have stitches in her head. Um and uh had to have surgery. She had surgery on uh on Monday cuz I I was all, I actually took off work uh, the day after the rumble just cuz I figured I was going to be up late whatever. Um you you usually do after mania too. Yeah, after so mania, like, after the Super Bowl, so I'm like why not add the Royal Rumble sure, into fair. the mix? Um so uh, you know, she uh, she had surgery on Monday. Yes, Scotty, thank you. She she's doing fine. She's uh, they're they're, you know, it takes a while. She's eighty five years old, so right. you know, she's she's gradually getting uh, getting better. Thank you guys, appreciate that. Um, so you know, they're they're hoping to have her do some rehab over the next couple of days. She'll have to go into a rehab facility, but so the leg's fine. She's doing better. Um, but it, you know, like the, the WWE on Sunday, as it's been so many times in in. In my life, and I think probably everybody who's who's listening to us right. um, at some point in our life, or or multiple times in our lives, wrestling has been an escape. Yep. And like, I, and I and I thought about that, and just how good I thought the Royal Rumble was. And we'll talk about the Rumble. We'll talk about some other stuff. Um, but like, I, I, you know, sometimes it's very easy to get kind of lost in the. Uh, very lost in the in the muck that can be like weekly like how bad's raw gonna be this week or how you know smackdown's not gonna do this rating number or you know who won the war this week when like no no matter what we're watching or 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 what you know what old pay-per-view i decide to pull up on the network to fall asleep to or whatever it is 
Um, man, like I fucking love wrestling. Yeah. Like I really do. And, um, you know, like today, today was just a, a kind of a long day in wrestling because we started off with the Wrestling Observer dickheads. Uh, you know, a clip from their show, uh, taking shots like at Na- Naomi and and her like her uh the the ramp spot in the Rumble, and then of course we went to the the, the news that broke um the the news that broke this this afternoon uh That's with the news. WWE. Yeah, and, yeah. Oh man, Devin, I I'm sorry, man. Uh, Devin uh, has said his grandmother passed away last Monday morning. Oh man, oh, man that stinks, man. I, I but like I I just I just love how wrestling like if we can just remember like remember like we're allowed to have fun with it like we're allowed to enjoy it like it's allowed to be fun it's allowed to be entertaining like you know and and, like even even like i mean during the attitude era but even prior to or, or after the fact like wasn't it nice to just like sit back and you know the spot when dx jump dumped the uh the poo poo from the uh, the porta potties yeah. on the corporation's head, or uh, you know, like or the T. L. Hopper or... put a fucking uh, plunger on some dude's That's head. Like, disgusting. Like, come on, like it, it's right. It, like right. It's, it's it's wrestling. goofy. It's sports entertainment. Like it, it, and and I had a guy in it at my work this week. And then, but, but sorry, I'm getting long winded. But uh, he uh, he comes in and and like he and I always kind of like poke at each other and and like he's a skinny like he's a skinny guy, but he always thinks he's like overweight oh laurel so, hardy got it yeah so like i always uh i always like tell him he's getting a gut and shit okay. like that and he's like oh you're still into that like fake wrestling shit and like i've seen like a like some other people talk like i've seen a couple tweets from people that like because like i feel like wrestlemania season we all get a little bit more excited i do so like we all like we probably talk about it a little more or whatever so um you know like p- people in in our everyday lives may have an, a more opportunity to be like well you know this shit's fake right and uh like for me like i I think i i really am if somebody uh comes at me with like hey you know wrestling's fake right i'm just gonna be like what's your favorite tv show like that's gonna be my go-to response from now on like what's your favorite tv show because they're all fake like even the news really i mean and i'm like i'm not i'm not like doing like the fake news cnn stuff like but like news no matter what you watch is a, they're news stories. Like they're, they, they're framed to get, you know, to like get you to watch or to get you to buy no matter, no matter what side you're on or whatever. So like, no matter what you're watching there, there's some degree of, uh, fiction to it. So like, what, it, like, so what are you just going to go with the, with the TV show route instead of just going the full Dave Schultz open hand slap route? Yeah. Oh, that's fair. That's I mean, fair. That's probably it's probably, it's probably uh, smart. Actually. Probably smarter that way. I mean, like I've thought about that. I thought about fake just, to you. just giving him like a big old knife edge chop in nice the chest. Chop. Yeah, give him a good chop. Scoop. And uh, and then just be like, they, and when they go, "What'd you do that for?" I go, "What? That was fake." Right? You didn't feel that. You didn't feel that. It was fake. Right? <laughs> that's implausible, baby. Just give him an yeah. elbow or something. But uh, no, like the, 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 it was. It was. This has been a week. This really has been a week. For us, but before we get what, too, it's not even over. We still got to go through Friday. We do before we get too Let's far. Navigate uh, those waters, folks. F- too far in, into the into the uh, to the muck here. Let's uh, you yeah, know we're remind too late for that. Remind everybody uh, to give the video a share. We'd appreciate that. Maybe start a watch party. We are um, that deep. that helps to get a lot of people in here. But uh, we have a couple of shows on the uh, on the independent show calendar for the weekend. If you don't know where to find that, go to threecountthursday.com. Find the upcoming indie shows. Uh, page and uh, there you will find uh, the list of shows that either we'll be working at, that we'll be uh, attending, or just ones that we endorse. Um, so uh, all three of these are on Saturday. The first one is uh, Work Rate Entertainment. That is uh, Kakoa, yes, former guest of yes. the show. His company. These are this is a show I want to uh, check out. Maybe not this weekend, but uh, one of these shows. But they're presenting Valentine's Vengeance this Saturday. The Forever Fitness Gym in Scott Run, PA. Doors are at 6.30. Bell time is at 7. Ding, ding, ding. We also got uh, CCW uh, CCW's Hardcore Hangover. That is uh, Saturday at the Marysville Lions Club in Marysville, PA. Doors are at 5. Bell time is at 6. That was a cool venue. That is a cool venue. It's just right um, off the highway. It's not hard. Yeah, yeah. You just jump right off of... uh, I think it's like, what, 83 or 81 that, up there? numbers up there near Harrisburg. 283, something like that, up near Harrisburg. But, uh, 
Yeah, cool little venue. We saw the Rock and Roll Express up there. We sure did. That's uh, right. Last year. Or was it last year or two years ago? That might have been two last, years two ago. Two years ago, probably two years by ago. now. Yeah, we need to get back up there and, and then, say hello. Uh, That's and Rob Noxious's yeah, yeah. company. Their, uh, their headline match is BJ Walker hey. taking on Dorian Black for the heavyweight championship. They also have a huge, a huge ladder match. And in, in a card that's named Hardcore Hangover. Hardcore Hangover. Hardcore Hangover. Hardcore. A ladder match for their tag team championships. Uh, Rob Noxious and Mr. Ping are uh, taking on the Frat Boys and taking on the current reigning and defending CCW tag team champions, the Pony Express. The Pony Express. Um and then uh, Excite Wrestling presents Johnny Stock this Saturday at the X in Johnson City, New York. Doors are at five. Bell time is also uh, at six on that show. So um, before we get into the Rumble talk, obviously today, um, and it's something I jumped, uh, I jumped on as I was heading home um, to talk about this one. The uh, the WWE announced, and this is from their uh, from their corporate. Website, corporate.wwe.com. Real quick, Charlie reminded us MLW this Friday, oh, yes. in, or this Saturday in Philly as well. So lots of great opportunities to go support some awesome professional wrestling. That's at uh, the 2300, I believe. That is at the 2300, which is a, such a kick-ass venue. So much history. Now, is anybody Relatively heading to that? Is Charlie? To to Charlie, it. I don't are know, you Charlie, heading to that? Yeah, are you heading to that? I have to work all weekend. Boo. Uh, plus, it's the Super Bowl weekend, so... Uh, I have to balance all of that somehow, but uh, yeah. We can do it. We're wrestling fans. We're wrestling fans. Um, but uh, today, WWE announced that co-presidents George Barrios and Michelle Wilson will depart the company effective immediately and will no longer serve on its board of directors. Frank A. Riddick III, who has served as a member of WWE's board of directors for more than 11 years, has been named interim chief financial officer reporting to WWE chairman and CEO Vince McMahon. WWE has commenced a search for both a permanent CFO and CRO, the Chief Revenue Officer. Um, Jim, this is your chance. This is it. I've been waiting. I've been waiting to debut for a reason. WWE remains well positioned to continue its growth and effective uh, growth and operate effectively against its strategic priorities, including content creation and distribution, digitization, and lo- localization in key markets around the world. The company expects its full year 2019 adjusted OIBDA to be approximately $180 million. Uh, Vince McMahon said, quote, I would like to thank George and Michelle for the 10 plus years of service and contributions to the organization. I am grateful for all that was accomplished during their tenure, but the board and I decided a change was necessary as we have different views on how best to achieve our strategic priorities moving forward we have a deep team of talented experienced and committed executives across the organization and the board and i have great confidence in our collective abilities to create compelling content uh engage our global fan base across platforms increase revenues and drive shareholder value uh riddick previously served as ceo for flowworks international uh jmc steel group formica corporation and triangle pacific corp and he was president and CEO of Armstrong World Industries. He has also served in executive management positions, including CFO, controller, treasurer, and vice president of mergers and acquisitions during a career that spans 40 years. Riddick uh, also served as compensation committee chairman and member of the audit committee as part of WWE's board of directors. Um, so obviously, uh, that is some pretty substantial news. From a uh, from a corporate standpoint, the WWE uh, this one had a very swift reaction in the uh, in with the shareholders of the WWE. The WWE stock closed to closed today up one point three five points, which was up two point two one percent. Closed at six point three or sixty two point three. Excuse me. Um, but uh, after hours, it was after hours. Uh-oh. The old after hours trading. Uh oh. Let's talk uh, about that. Minus 14.31. They are down 22.97%. It closed. That's at, almost uh, a quarter of the value of the stock that yeah, just tumbled. Yeah, it almost uh, dropped a quarter. So um, if you have ever been looking to get in to the WWE stock world. You buy low, Jim. Now's probably the time to do it. You buy low. Um, because uh, they here's the thing. 
they said these the the presidents Barrios uh, and, and Michelle Michelle McCool uh, Michelle McCool uh, have have been in these positions for for around a decade ish. Um, it, it happens. See, right. companies change executives. Uh, this is nothing new in the business world. Uh, when it happens, shareholders shareholders get sell off. They, they sell. get spooked yep. a little bit. They yep. sell all the time. This, this is this is nothing new. When the WWE announced uh, the WWE Network, I believe was when it spiked to over a hundred, uh, close uh, up around a hundred. Yep. So, like, when you have good news, it goes up. Yep. When you have bad news, it goes down. Right. Um, if you follow certain, uh, if you put really good players in those open roles of CFO and CRO, it should climb it should relatively go back quickly. Right. right. Um, I mean, if, you never want to see a bunch of peaks and valleys on your stack. You'd rather no, just perform no. pretty steadily. They've, and they have been. I think yeah, they've been in sure. like the 60, 70 I range. I want to see a climbing or performing steadily. Consistently yeah, yes. uh, for about the past a year or you're so. Not, you're not investing to lose money. Yeah. And Jason brings up a great point. 10 plus years, uh, is actually in 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 corporations it's like this. Time. That is actually a very long time. Right. It sounds fun. I've been at my job for it'll be sixteen years in May. And when you leave, stocks will crumble. Just crumble. Cr- the the non existent stocks in my company yes, will just crumble just to the ground. To the ground. Um. But like, if you listen and or read certain um newsletters, <clears throat> um, then the you may perceive this to be more dire. Uh, of a situation than it actually is. Like I'm not, I'm not a business expert. Right. I'm not pretending to be a business expert. I mean, let's say it. Congratulations, AEW. You guys won. You guys won. There it, it is. There it is. The game game war over. is over. Um, but AEW uh, did it. You know, the the, the W. It'll, it'll bounce back. Uh, everything will bounce back. Um, I believe the Q4 report is is due out any day now. Right. Um, you know, in in the short term and. Uh, it probably was not as great as they wanted it to be. Right. Um, and the I think the second and third quarter of this year were not as great as they were expecting yeah. it to be as well. So, so you get soft returns. These things will happen. Yeah. But 10 yeah. years, like they said, is a long-ass time. Sure, sure. And some fresh blood up at the top. And again, this is a business. Like This is not what you're going to be seeing on Raw or SmackDown or Renna. No. Like This is the business side of the WWE that – we would talk about because it's a business and it's about the rap, but it's nothing about the actual wrestling in ring performance. You're not going to see changes come down the pike. I think from this on TV, Lou says, I expect to see these executives on TNT Wednesday night. That's when the war is over. <laughs> um, That'll put asses in the seat. <clears throat> so good to have some, uh, some brevity there, but it was something that, Obviously, it's a, it's a major it's a major uh, s- story, newsworthy story um, to uh, that 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 came across late this afternoon. So uh, we would not be who we are if it, you know if we didn't at least touch on it. Like I said, I, I I'm not a shareholder. Uh, right. I don't work for the WWE. As hard as that is to believe, um, shill yes, shill work, yes, no. work no. They can start paying me at any time. Even if it's like free WWE Network and like one free shirt a month, hey, I will gladly shill even harder. Shill uh, for that. I did buy stuff on the. Uh, Where we at? Weren't we supposed to get some like partnership with that one time? And yeah, that never. It happened? was really hard to set up. It was really challenging. I could never really get it to work. That's fair. We got some free shit out of it. We did get some free. We had so, to try again. Yeah, just sure. see if we can get another box of free swag. Yeah, why not? Uh, but I did buy because uh, right now they have a the buy one get one for a dollar. They'll go for a buy uh, again. So I bought the uh, the stun Owens stun shirt. Okay, yeah, mute button and then talk. That's I good. was yawning. Um, and then I got the uh, the King Corbin. Oh, okay. Uh, the King Corbin shirt that I think Tim got you. Rin Tin Tin. Rin Tin Tin. Um, I wore my my. Oh, that's sad. That's Tin Tin Tin. At least that's what it's called. Holy Jesus. What is that? What the fuck is that? That's my You Can't See Me shirt that, that I bitch the, about I love that all shirt. the time. Um, all right, let's talk about the Royal Rumble because it was this past Sunday. We got together with Tim and a boar and uh, a boar's lady friend. Um, so it was a good time. It was a good time spending some time with the wrestling family. Um, and... I loved this pay-per-view. Naturally. 
<laughs> um, even even the pre-show matches, I enjoyed. Um, but uh, obviously the 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 big points from this show. Uh, let's start with the men's Royal Rumble match. Uh, Drew McIntyre gets the win, and that is the that is a big storyline in and of itself. But the first half of this Rumble, I enjoyed so much more than I thought. Like there was part of me that was like, okay, um, I'm sure they're gonna like start off with Lesnar. And, like, maybe the first two or three guys, he's just going to just just throw them out, toss them out, uh, and then somebody substantial is going to come in, and that's where that is going to stop, and then we're going to get to, like, an actual Royal Rumble. Right. Um, little did we know that, like, he was going to get, like, halfway through the Rumble that way. And I think it was somewhere around, what, person six, person seven, that we were all just kind of like, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, they're, 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 they're going to do this. They're doing this. Um, and in a, in a time when one of the biggest complaints about the WWE, one of the biggest gripes I hear from people in relation to what the WWE gives us on a week in, week out basis on a uh, month in, month out basis from a pay per view standpoint and all of that is um, wow. Charlie said he he has to bounce out, but his wife is now a fan of Bianca Belair. Oh, we'll talk about well, her. We, we will talk about her in just we get a little to the bit. Women's, but absolutely, it's a great, great um, choice to to pick somebody young like that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Big, but like big D. They like the WWE. Not only did they put the WWE champion into the Rumble, right. which we've never seen before, or maybe I feel like Drew. Or no, they had it for it was for the championship. It was I for believe. the championship in uh, when when Triple H won, and then it was for the the vacant title in ninety uh, two with Ric Flair, and then. You had you had Lesnar in number one, and you uh, you you had him set the record with I think it was what thirteen fourteen elimination something like that pretty handily. Uh, you had a c- couple of cool spots. I mean, his eliminated like the way he eliminated John Morrison was awesome. Yeah, boy, wasn't it good that he didn't return for that spot? Sure was. Um, eliminated Kofi Kingston without any special save that we've come accustomed to yeah, seeing yeah, yeah. with Kofi. So we actually got something different again with Kofi this year. We, we did. And but it, I lo- I love that spot where he like he launched himself off of Biggie's back. Oh yes. Like for the clothesline. Like and j- like the way it was executed, like Biggie looked pretty strong, Kofi still looked fine, uh Keith Lee looked great. Like I and Brock's Brock's reactions to certain guys coming out, Keith Lee in particular. Yes. Big boy, big boy. Right, like yes. I, it was, it was just so good. Dancing a little bit, like to, uh, it was great. And then, like Brock sold that entire time, the whole time. Brock did more work, not like wrestling work, time wise, and putting folks like, over, putting folks over, like, and even even since he won the Money in the Bank, the last six months of Brock Lesnar, he's put more work, meaning like selling. And yeah. mannerisms and character work that he's put in for years. Yes. So every like once again, here we go. I keep going back to this. The things that people have asked the WWE to give you, they're giving you. Like you, you want Brock to be more engaged. Guess what? It fucking happened. Yes. Why? Because Paul Heyman's running Raw. Funny how that works. And here's the deal: if you hated the first ten, thirteen, fifteen eliminations and the first half of the Royal Rumble. Good. Brock's a heel. You're not supposed to like it. But it was cool, and we ain't ever seen that before. And also... Who pointed out that Brock Lesnar was playing the Royal Rumble the way you would play 
the Royal Rumble th- on like N sixty four. Somebody I said think it. Tim said that while we were watching it. You know, and he's absolutely it's a video right. game. You get in there, and you get as many people out, and you wait, and then you toss the guy before right. the next you, guy right. comes because you want to walk around the ring and rebuild your stamina. Right, just flexing and doing right. your just pose. like, hey, bitches, look right. at me, I'm real good at this. So somebody comes in, and you're flashing special. You hit him with your finisher, and you dump him. Yeah, exactly. That's how you play. It was it. a video game. It was the first like, like, like well, not life, but. Uh, you know, entertainment became right. You know, imitated another form of entertainment. Rock rumbled the exact same way I rumbled. No mercy. The exact same way I did the battle royals in uh, NWO WCW World Tour. Like, exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. Did. And and like I said, man, the, the 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 mannerisms, the way like the way Brock looked when Keith Lee came out. First off, Keith Lee got legitimized uh, to a broad audience beyond the nxt world at survivor series when he got the fist bump from Roman reigns now you get brock lesnar to pop when you're coming down the ring dude's fucking made like you you want wwe to give you something different they're strapping the rocket ship to keith lee right um and then guess what like you like you can almost say jim he's limitless i like that you should probably use that we should probably I don't know, bask in his glory. We probably should. We probably should. Um, so then, you know, you, you may like you're getting really people are getting like mad. Like people like there's people, people like me that were just like, he could do the we can do the whole rumble like this. Right. Cause like I even said it last week. Part of me likes to watch World Burn. You absolutely love that, Jim. I was like, if he just goes through and wins the whole thing. I'm just going to be curious to see where they go with it. Like, is he going to pick somebody to wrestle at WrestleMania? Is he just going to, like, wrestle himself at WrestleMania? Like, how's this going to work? Um, I love sitting there watching it, wondering how long they're going to do it. Yeah. It was almost like a Family Guy Conway Twitty cutaway. <laughs> how long is this going to go for? And all of a sudden, they're, like, doing the entire song they, of yeah, I the, See the, the One, Two in Your Eyes. And you're like, oh, my God, they did the whole fucking song. They're going to let Brock do this whole thing. Luckily, we didn't get that far. Like, <laughs> but that was enjoyable because I thought they could do it. They literally could do it. Brock could have just run through everybody and given us something different, <laughs> one at a time. You know, and like the and and also like I just or it was like the uh, the chicken fight. Yes, right. Just like yes. There it is. <laughs> I see the sparkling little down. I don't want to get our our video locked out. We're gonna get. We're definitely gonna get. We're muted definitely for gonna get it. I love how we keep getting like a, like a Warner Brothers uh, claim on one of our videos uh, for like ten seconds randomly every two and a half weeks. Yeah, they'll they'll, they'll mute ten it, seconds, and it might be an intro song. I don't even know what they're 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 finding something that they think they own, and then they release the video, um, and they don't block the whole video. They just mute it, us. Yeah, it says like, do you want to post like in the muted section? I'm like, sure, whatever, whatever. I'm not. I'm like, I'm not fighting it. So the I post muted and then we like clearly don't own the copyright and then to it, like, but we never intend to infringe in anybody's yeah, copyright. And then like thirty two you know, thirty two minutes later I'll get a they've released they've the release. Okay, yeah. sure. All right, cool. Whatever. Um Thanks, Facebook. But like and then, and then like here's the thing too though. Zuckerberg. It's like you know, like you said, Brock's a heel. You're not supposed to like it. I'm a heel. So you're getting mad, you're getting upset, you're getting angry, this and that. Um and then like I forget somebody tweeted it out. And I was and I was reading it and I and I was reading it out loud. I'm like, this is great. Like Brock's gonna set the record, and the the, the whoever whoever ends up eliminating him is going to look like a superhero. And then right. Ricochet came out, and we're like, oh, oh he's a, like superhero. a superhero. Well, of course, it didn't end up being Ricochet. It ended up being Drew McIntyre. Ricochet played a really important role he there, did. though. He did. He helped set that up. And the old Kickski to the Dixie. The old Kickski to the Dixie. Sometimes it takes it takes a lot. It takes a team. And go back like to WrestleMania 35. Seth Rollins beats Brock Lesnar with a kick ski to the dick ski, setting hey man, up they the are... curb stop. Brock kick ski to the dick ski to multiple competitors. So it, it's this is the running thing. It is an effective move. Have you ever been kick skied in the dick ski? Um, yeah, chick kicked me in the dick ski back in uh, back in junior high. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't. Uh, How, how'd that feel, Jim? <laughs> not great. Not good. Not good. Not good at all. Yeah, not good at all. Um, here's the dumb, the dumb part about that was, she was mad at my. She was like, 
it was my buddy's like girlfriend. What did you do to get kicked in the dick? So my buddy is like dating this girl, seventh grade. So like I don't know. Uh, how, oh, seventh grade dating. You know, got it. Girlfriend, boyfriend. Right, you they know, hold my books. Yeah, hold right. my hold my books and like give me a hug at my locker, right. sort of a thing. Um, so we're at like a school dance. We're at the Lidditz Rec Center. Beautiful Rec Center. It's wonderful this time of year. Um, and uh, we're in the lobby. We're by the by the foosball table. What, what type of year was it? What time of year was it? Uh, I think it was. Uh, I think it was like. I think it was this time of year. I think it was like a Valentine's. Oh, dance. okay, okay, beautiful. Um, and so they uh, have some pink things up. And like he, uh, he made her mad. I don't know if he was like talking to another girl or like oh, no, you know something. Um, she shoved him. No. And then kicked me in the dick. Really? Yeah. And you were just like I was just like his that? big fat buddy. Like right. You know, like so you were the you were the wingman. Yeah, the wing. I was honest. the Luigi the to his grade. Mario. You were the seventh grade wingman. Yeah, and he got pushed because he was talking to another broad. Yeah, or and another sef- seventh grader. I should another say. Another broad. And then I got kicked. That's unbelievable. Jim. And then she's like, "You like that? You like that?" And I'm like, "No, I don't. You don't like that? No, it hurts." So she hawked up and said, "Do you like that? <laughs> Do you like that?" Uh, and it sucked, and I was like, "What?" Oh, no. Right. right. That's unreal. And my voice was actually that high because, you know, I just got kicked in the dick. Right. Um, I get it. So, yeah, that wasn't fun. Oh, no. Um, but, yeah, so Drew I'm Mac- sorry you had to rehash that with I, it's us. It's okay. It doesn't hurt anymore. Well, um, the mental wounds are the there. The mental wounds are there. So, you know, so you know, Drew gets the win, looks like a world beater. And then, uh, of course, there was still part of me that's like, man, this crowd's really going to turn when Roman wins this whole thing. I get it. Like when Roman throws out Drew. And it came down to those two. because it was established that Drew McIntyre is probably going to be facing Brock Lesnar because Brock now has egg on his face. Yeah, well, so also, Brock will want Drew. <clears throat> Let's also point this out after uh, after McIntyre kicked Lesnar off the apron. Right, Brock li- laid there for like two minutes in a pile of puddle of his sweat. So Brock. Sold, sold a finishing the maneuver shit out of it that eliminated him from he the just, royal rumble and like there was there was i saw some pictures from people that were you know on that side of the ring and he was just right. just out he probably hadn't worked that hard in a long probably. time. probably he's like oh my god why did i do this this was so not worth two and a half million dollars to show up here <laughs> um, and then you know even the whole time he's leaving he's He's right. jawing at McIntyre. You're I'm like, I'm waiting other. for him to come back, just come back and throw right. McIntyre out. Like it was just so well done, so well done, so well done. Loved it. Then, of course, you had the the return of Edge, which oh was just like, god. oh my god. Tim cried. Tim Tim shed a tear. Tim actually cried. The boar was just speechless. Dude, I don't think any of us talked. Frozen in time. We, they were both broken. Not they, Matt Hardy. Broken, yeah, not not but. delete broken, but. Which of course, again, delete. I, not I, well, this I way. didn't want to hit you. I know you. you didn't. I wasn't. But like, I'm reminding the people out here because like right. every time we do, it's a PSA. It's right. This is it's, delete. It's horizontal. Oh, sorry, it's, Tim. This is something so much worse. This is definitely you don't want that. You, you want this. this. Way. Yeah, just straight out. Right. Straight out. You could go down. I guess you'd look ridiculous. Yeah, you're like you could rowing. go down. It's like the breast. But stroke. like you, can, no raising of the arm. Nine. Bad. Raising Nine. of the arm is Nine. bad. Yeah. <laughs> um. And then, uh, yeah, obviously Drew McIntyre picks up the win, and and and, and, and like start to finish the men's rumble. We'll, we'll we'll touch on some other spots from the from the rest of the show. Now, start to finish. If it was a pizza, you would say crust to tip. Crust to tip. Got it. Crust to tip. Um, but man, it 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 really it really was so well done. Great way to end the Royal Rumble pay per view with that men's rumble because I think we were like, oh, is it men's? Is it women's? It probably will be men's. Yeah, um, I think we could thought- the championship close it. Probably not. It should be a rumble match. They made the right decision. You have, you know, the sign pointing, sign pointing season. It is, is sign upon us. Pointing season. Um, yeah, Charlotte Flair. And picked, it wasn't a sign this year, though. At the Rumble, it, it wasn't was a last screen. year either. Really? Yeah, last year was I the don't screen remember. as well. Okay. Because here's the thing: like, in a baseball yeah, stadium, that's a good point. Baseball stadium, there's, there's, they don't have. Like those signs, I know they, I know they look fairly light. They're big. Those things are legit. This one, this year, huge, unbelievably large. The biggest. Um, but those signs are not light. So they have to be hung on, like, significant, like, trussing. Okay. Like, ceiling hang. They don't, there aren't those sort of hangs in a baseball stadium. Right. Because there's no reason to be. That's also um, a good point. Theoretically, you could hang it off of the, 
trussing that the you know or a banner off of the trussing that like the screens and stuff are on I mean, you're getting it in views way though you're gonna get into, you're gonna yeah. get into views way and also like it's gonna be awkward if drew's like because then he's gonna look like he's trying to rip off ricochet right right he's ricocheting you know. or yeah is that sabu <laughs> like what's he pointing at what's he pointing at? sabu just comes down so as it, a surprise it's, it's entrance. easier to just put it up on the screen i get it okay i didn't even catch that last year thank you for correcting me no problem um but uh, I stand corrected. Let's go back to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Devin says that the sign is fucking humongous. I thought he was talking um, about Jim. Uh, other Devin. Have a nice weekend. I, I think uh, he was bouncing out of the video here. Yeah. Make Check. sure you give the uh, video a like and a share. No wheel of impressions this week. Hey, AC just checked in. Oh, how's it going? AC? AC? I do from college. college? He used to go smoke the cigarettes with him. How about that? Now we are real early in the morning for some reason is like the only yeah, thing I can much remember. I, we smoked a lot of cigarettes at college. Hey, C. You want to go smoke? <laughs> go sm- okay. It's two in the morning. Sure. Oh, all right. Do you remember when we, uh, when there was the hurricane? And that the, was And the power house. on campus got knocked out, and we're just standing outside at like 5.30 in the morning just smoking just, cigarettes? Because so, yeah. it wasn't rain. It was just really windy. Really windy. And, like, you could like lean into it as a big like, guy and not fall over? From, <laughs> from where... Uh, your dorm was you could see like up up the hill up their cuts down yeah, and you could just watch transformers blowing oh. all over town have Me- you been to cuts town in february i know we're not there yet but we're close to february beautiful this time beautiful of year. this time of it really year. is um devin we'll be back live uh next thursday night we're here live every uh thursday at every 9 30 thursday night um and he, for the big four pay-per-views we try and jump on and do uh and do a sunday afternoon preview show um, so we hope you can uh, check us out. Make sure to subscribe to uh, to um, our our podcast on either uh, Google Play or Stitcher or Apple or Google or uh, Android, whatever. Uh, you can subscribe to us there as well. But uh, thanks for checking in. Um, all right, let's go to the uh, let's go to the women's rumble. Uh, Charlotte wins. I was not happy that Charlotte won, even though like if you kind of really look at the build. To this one, um, you probably could have figured out that Charlotte was going to win. I drew a puppy. You did draw a puppy. Uh, <laughs> but I think the thing, uh, I think the thing that that kind of gets lost a little bit, and and I even kind of got lost in it in my anger over Charlotte winning, is just how dominant the NXT women were. Ding yourself in this one. I think uh, between, I think between Shayna and Bianca Belair, I think they had like fifteen. 16 eliminations uh just between the two of them um so like that's really a common theme like you know obviously nxt uh as a whole won survivor series now the women are dominant in uh in the royal rumble uh that may play a bit into charlotte's decision of her wrestlemania match could it um, could it we don't know that's uh that's one of the buzzwords that's a that's a rumor we don't know could uh, it? online i i don't know it didn't happen last night it didn't so charlotte has not made her decision yet she told that told us that ever so loudly on monday night <laughs> just the loudest <clears throat> um, there's there's no way that she challenges like adam cole right uh Bebe? yeah like they're not gonna go the impact route um i mean if anybody can I think it could I think be Charlotte. Charlotte, could be it. Uh, Charlotte or Shayna, I think could. Hi, Laura. Laura's here. Oh, pardon Hi. Me. Hi. Thank you for checking in tonight. Yeah. Thanks everybody for checking in. Gave you the share. We'd appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. Again, we're live on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Three Count Thursday every Thursday night. Nine thirty. Nine thirty Eastern time. You can stream us if you're listening to the podcast feed on what, all of them, right? Spotify. Spotify. Uh, uh, I don't iTunes. know if we're on Spotify actually. I, we should probably. Look, I should probably. Maybe look we're into not that. on Spotify. I should I probably know. look into that. Spreaker. Um, but we are on. Uh, we're on Apple Podcasts. Apple Podcasts. We're on uh, any like a- podcatcher on Android. A podcatcher on Go- Android. Google Play and Stitcher. I know oh, for Google a fact. Stitcher is what I was thinking uh, about. That, that we are definitely on. Um, I'll have to look into the Spotify thing because I think people are starting to use that for podcasts a little bit more. Um, and I think too through, um, I think you can even, might even be able to find us on iHeart. I'm not sure. You might be able to. People um, still use iHeart? Probably. I didn't even know that. Okay. I mean, I still use uh, Pandora at work sometimes. I know like Google Play Music. We, you can find us sure. on there. I've, I've yeah, you can definitely there, find us right? on there. On, like, um, the big, on the if big, you go to big our platforms. website, <clears throat> threecountthursday.com. Three count Thursday.com. It's the number three count Thursday.com. Um, 
you can find the links there in like the connector something like that chris says in in, in the watch party i threw a watch party uh that brock did do a hell of a job in the royal rumble and laura checks in she says hey oh and then she hey, says yo. the uh the bella twins i don't know if you put that on here in the news i didn't but the bella twins are both preggers they are. They got big babies. match. John did it again. I don't think so. No, I don't, I don't no, think not that big was match. John. No, no, no. I think uh, no. It's uh, Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan. Yes, and, he was uh, yes and, chanting all night. And Artem, whatever the hell his last name is, Artem, the dancer. Artem dancer. Artem dancer. He's from, like from Russian or something from Dancing with the Stars. Right. He's like yeah. No, they're like engaged. They're gonna get married. Oh, okay. They're and gonna get now. Hitched. They're having a baby. Great. Great. Good for them. Good no, for both seriously. Of them. That, that, that is that is good news. I, I like. I did see that come across. I know I posted it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, I think it was Tuesday morning. It came out in, uh, on People.com. I'm kind of excited about that. Yeah. Good for them. Um, Robbie checks in. Hello. Tony's here. Hello, Tony. Hello, Tony. Um, so, yeah, I, if 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 the rumors are true and uh, Charlotte is going to challenge Rhea Ripley awesome for the match. NXT Women, or excuse me, the NXT Championship. Thank you. Uh I am I am all in favor of because it's the only championship that Charlotte has not won. She never Singles won that in NXT. Well, she won the. And it, oh, oh, you're no, you're right. She did win the NXT Women's Title. I, I'm I'm I stand corrected. Did she? I mean, she didn't win it since it's been obviously redesigned. Redesigned the new women's title. She won the one that Paige got all jizzed up on. Jesus! Oh, come on! You know what I mean. God. Everybody has a picture of it now. If they weren't able to picture what it looked like before, the one right next to pages. Come, in my face. Come on now, Jim. Um, Why well, you got to use those sound effects? I just what, um, did, what did she yell as she was about to take that giant load? Jim, do you have a sound? Come in my face. Oh, there it is. Okay, the voice is deeper than it I... is. Well, it's Charlotte. <laughs> Although this was Paige, actually, that this was, was Paige. Paige. You're right. Oh, yeah, you're right. No, Charlotte did win that one. Charlotte did win it. She won it in uh, May of 2014. So I apologize. She she is not. Right, so it was Paige, and then it was vacated for a while, right? Paige vacated um, when she moved to the, the main roster. And then, okay. And uh, won the Divas title. And then Charlotte uh, won it at the very first oh. NXT TakeOver. Is that with her and Natty, correct? Yeah, it was the first event bearing the NXT TakeOver name broadcast live on the WWE Network, May 29th, 2014. Let's yeah. look back at these. That's the one with Rick Rick and, and Charlotte. and, a- and Adam Stroke Rose and- defeated Camacho. Adam Rose. Yo. Defeated Camacho. Um, the Ascension defeated El Local. El Local. Which was uh, uh, Rodriguez, right? Ricardo Rodriguez, Rodriguez, Rodriguez and yeah. Kalisto. Okay. Tyler Breeze defeated Sami Zayn. Wow. Tyler Breeze got a win and a takeover. I'll be damned. I mean, of course, it came at the expense of Sami Zayn. Uh, Charlotte with Ric Flair defeated Natalia with Bret Hart. Okay. And then uh, Adrian Neville defeated Tyson Kidd for the NXT Championship. That bastard Pac. How about it? Look at that. Let's just go to the next one. That was, uh, which one was that? Fatal 4-Way. Oh, that was a real good one. Yeah, it was the Lucha Dragons defeated the Ascension. Baron Corbin defeated C.J. Parker. Oh, he's over in uh, New Japan. Enzo Amore with Colin Cassidy defeated Sylvester LaFort with Marcus Louis. Oh, Marcus Louis. Bolt that Dempsey. was the hair versus hair match, wasn't that, it? Uh, yeah, hair and versus he had, hair. He ended up real bald, yeah. Uh, Bolt Dempsey defeated Mojo Rawley. Oof, oof. Charlotte defeated Bailey. Okay. So in case you wondered how long that feud's been going on. This is what? The answer is six years. Okay. What year was this? This is 2014. 2014. September 11, 2014. Howie, wowie. And then uh, Adrian Neville defeated Tyson Kidd, Tyler Breeze, and Sami Zayn. Yep, there they go. There it was. Tyler Kidd. Tyler, uh, Tyler, Ty- Tyler Breeze and uh, Sami Zayn. With just eating losses left and right. Just a big old bowl of losses. You're right. So, yes. So, Charlotte has won this title. I apologize it's on that been a, It's been a while, though. It has been a very long time. Um, but uh, if these rumors are true, I am fine with Charlotte winning the Royal Rumble. Right. The thing I, the thing that bothered me about it is I'm like, okay, because right now, Becky, still the Raw Women's Champion, mm-hmm. and Bailey still the SmackDown Women's Champion. Mm-hmm. I don't need another Charlotte-Becky feud in my life. Don't need it. I don't need another Charlotte-Bailey feud in my life. Don't need it. Now, 
My the only caveat to this. What's your caveat? Is if we would if this would finally get us to the four horsewomen match. Okay. Somehow, don't know how that would all work out. Um, but if 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 th- this would lead us to Charlotte versus Becky versus Bailey versus Sasha, right? Then I'd be fine with that. So th- those are the only two WrestleMania of main events or WrestleMania matches with Charlotte coming out of the Rumble that I want is the four horsewomen match or facing Rhea Ripley for the NXT championship. And then I'm okay. Yeah, I think I don't think we're ready yet for the four horsewomen. I don't think um oh, what the hell are their names? It's Jessamyn Duke and the other one. I can't think of the other one's name. Uh Shafir. Yeah, uh, yeah, Marina. I don't I don't think they are quite ready yet. Um and and honestly, I think we saw some NXT talent maybe in this match that wasn't quite ready mm-hmm. yet in in spots. It happens. Um but but got some exposure, which was really really cool. I, I mean, off the top of my head, I'm not trying to. And I, I love her. I just don't think she was ready. Yet. Like like Shotzi Blackheart. I don't think that's ready yeah, yet for the main roster. Like we, she agree. just was debuting well, in NXT. That's, so that's why you you have that's part of the that's what NXT is for. And and part of what the Rumble can do is it is it can it can show shine on people who are ready, and it can not expose, but it it can. Um, for lack of a better word, sure, it can show Expo- you where it can, there show, is, it can right. show you where people need work. I agree on on a big stage. Um, but yeah, so no, the 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 Charlotte winning, um, the, my match of the night, and I, th- this pay per view was a, was like an A for me. The only thing I kept it from an A plus, um, I thought Becky and Oscar kind of drug a little bit, and I, I, it was in a bad spot yeah, coming right after spot. after the strap match. And Bailey versus Lacey, um, disappointed Lacey didn't win, but also the match, like, I didn't feel it was good. It wasn't bad, but it was just, like, there. Right. Um, but it also came after the Women's Rumble, so that was in a bad spot. Like, the two Women's Championship matches, I felt were in bad spots, like, for them. I don't know if there was a better spot to put them, unfortunately. No, because the Royal Rumble card's always going to be on the, on the smaller side, because... The women's rumble, 54 minutes, 20 seconds. The men's rumble, one hour and 50 seconds. So right there is two hours of your show. Right. Like, you, you're not going to you're not gonna get a 14-match card and then two Royal Rumble matches. It's just it's just not going to happen. You just can't do that, right. Um, but to me, the match of the night. Real quick, the... let's, let's, before we move out of the women's match. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Who was, who was stars of that match <clears throat> for you? Um, like, it's got to be Bel Air. Uh, Bel Air, for sure, and Shayna as well. Belair eight eliminations in there for thirty three minutes. Yeah, because she was third. Shayna Baszler, eight eliminations. So sixteen eliminations between those two. Baszler only in there four minutes thirty seconds. Eight eliminations in four was, minutes. Yeah, Jesus, that's wild to think. Uh, and then you had like the Santina Morella. That was like okay, the, you, did you, the surprise. I don't care. Right. I don't care. That's a throwback to to. An era that we are not in anymore, but the same era that like Kelly Kelly, who was clearly a diva, mm-hmm. was from Mighty Molly. Molly, who she was, who was more of a ass. wrestler? Mighty Molly in a diva's ass. era. I was so happy to see her back in a WWE ring. She looked great in that match. Yes, she absolutely. She did. really did. I've always had a soft spot for Molly, but uh, NXT. I always NXT- thought you had a hard spot for her. NXT uh, entrance, Bianca Belair, Mercedes Martinez. That was really cool to see Mercedes. Yeah. Who just recently signed. Uh, Candice LeRae, Mia Yim, Dakota Kai, Chelsea Green. Um, they have Beth Phoenix listed there because she's the commentator. Okay. And what a tough broad that is. Whew. Knocking. My God. Yeah, did you see the spot where she did it? Like she caught it on, yeah. on the ring post. Ouch. Yo. Ouch. Tony Storm from NXT UK, Zia Lee, Shotzi Blackheart, Tegan Knotts, and Shayna Baszler. So. NXT was well. Yeah, NXT I mean, shined a big plenty time. Plenty of, of Raw SmackDown stars not in this match. Sure. You don't have the I Iconics. Um, you don't have any of the championship match ladies. I don't think there was – there wasn't a lot of NXT talent in the uh, in the men's rumble. Do you think – and, and I, this is honestly the first time I've made this connection. I feel like that may have been – I mean, obviously, I don't think it, WWE does anything that's unintentional. But like this felt really intentional because what's the, you know, obviously they're at quote unquote war with AEW. Um, 
AEW's women's division is practically non-existent. And on WWE's second biggest night of the year, arguably second biggest night of the year, you have the NXT women just absolutely looking like world beaters. There was two NXT superstars. Keith Lee, Matt Riddle. Keith Lee and One Matt looked Riddle. like a star. One <laughs> got people talking. One got dumped out in 41 seconds. How, how much has he been punished, though? He's clearly been buried on the... Uh, on the NXT roster, he's never going to get a win again. Never. Never, ever never. again. Nope, he's never going to wrestle for a championship. Nope, never going to wrestle for a championship. He's never going to win a tag team tournament. Ever. Wait. That that bears the name Dusty Rhodes. Yeah. Oh, wait. Bro. Bro. Um, uh, surprise entrance as well. MVP, who I heard has now wrapped up. Was just a, a double shot. Just a double yeah. shot, yeah. yeah I mean, well, people, there was people who talked about it, though, like, oh, he's going to be there till Mania, just putting people over. That was, like, dirt cheap bullshit that, that yeah. I read. Um, Jason, and, then, and then Edge, obviously, which yeah. is just... J- just oh. awesome. We'll talk about him here in a sec. Uh, Jason says, what's the deal with Sonya Deville? Why does she never get a push? Um, I mean, I I think she will at, at some point. It's, it, there's only so many pushes that can go around. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I think we think Sonya's great. We've had her on this show years ago um, when she got eliminated from Tough Enough. Yeah, like, Sonya, I think Sonya has uh, a ton of upside and potential. I don't think she's reached it yet. And it may be not her fault, but the WWE, I don't think, knows what to do yet with, with, with the talent that I, they have. I also think that when wherever this Mandy, Otis, and by default, Sonya storyline goes yeah. i think that's where sonya can get a real shine because you know as the mandy otis relationship continues to evolve um sonya has a real shot to look like a jealous angry bitch um in all of this and you know it, that's a character that's easily hateable Hi, Sherry. especially when uh when you have uh a character like Otis, who is very lovable. Tucky. Tucky. Um, we so, probably need some Otis sound effects. Yeah, I, that that's something that I that I should really uh, look at. But yeah, um, so I think Sonya uh, will will get that uh, in, in due time. Yeah. Uh, but man, that strap match, my God. Um, Jim, dare I say the match of the night? Oh, easily for me, easily. In a night where the rumbles. Are supposed to be the thing that shines. Yeah, that match oh. was fantastic. Like we we did our PW scorecards. Did we? Um, well, <laughs> uh, I think I ended up with like sixty two of a possible two hundred and forty seven points. One twelve. I think you were the star. Yeah, One twelve, mm. which ain't good. No, no, that's a, that's still a failing grade. Um, but on the card, on the prediction card, it was like uh, predict the number of lashes with the strap. I think all of us were under 30. I might have, yeah. It ended yeah. up like 68. Unreal. And because here's the thing. Like, I just assumed it was going to be like... And I feel like 58... Typical WWE. I feel like 58 of them landed on the back of Daniel Bryan. Oh, my God. Yeah. Daniel Bryan earned... Like, Daniel Bryan doesn't get enough credit for all the, like, the way he's been putting people over time and time again. Ding yourself. Um, The guy has just been putting in the work. But like, you know, I just thought it was gonna be typical WWE where they they advertise like a hardcore match, and it's just not really gonna deliver. Um, not this time. Uh, this th- that that match was so good, and obviously, you know, the 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 red lighting wasn't there. I think because like it's hard to see welts, red welts when you have red light. Yeah. Um, so I think maybe that played part of it as well. Um, it. Uh, I just I just loved it. So good. I loved it. Like those two guys work really well together. It was by far the best fiend match so far. Absolutely. Um, and uh you know like Daniel uh Daniel shined and and the the fiend shined as well. Um Jason AS AJ looked real bad when he took the shot any word on his injury. Um it was reported on Monday uh that it is that he that it's believed he has a separated shoulder. <laughs> um which is a lot better than a, a, a collarbone, broken co- because or it could have yeah. been either of those things. Um, so separated shoulder. I mean, he could still be in play for Mania. Let's 
and don't do it now, but go back and watch that moment. Because I think we, I don't know if I called it, somebody called it like, oh, there's trainers around AJ in the corner. That's not mm-hmm. good. And then, like, you get to see, and again, if you've watched wrestling, if you watch indie wrestling, you, you see what happens. He goes over and he talks to Edge. Mm-hmm. And he gets, like, just dumped out. But, like, even taking a bump getting dumped out, like, it wasn't just a simple, mm-hmm. like, I'm going to exit. Right, like, he like, didn't, like, climb over the top. And then just get knocked off. Like, he was he, tossed. He got tossed out. Yeah. With a separated shoulder. do more damage. Sure could. What a professional! Um, yeah, yeah. He knew he knew he was in a bad he knew he was in a bad spot, and uh, and and then uh, like because here's the thing like, and I and I, I think I read somewhere or I heard somewhere this week that like originally AJ was kind of penciled in to the final four. I have heard that as well. <laughs> so at that point, WWE has to work on the fly because one of those guys he gone right. Um, and oh, Allen down there in the corner. If uh, if that's the case, they did a real good job at working themselves out of that issue um, because uh, the the finish of the men's rumble professionals, uh, yeah, all around, all around. Um, but yeah, I give this show an A. I absolutely do. I, I loved it. I really did. I'm gonna give it a B. Uh, I think the women's matches brought it down for me, uh, unfortunately. But uh, solid show. B is not a bad grade. No, no, I would have, I would have gave a hell whole hell of a lot of money to get some Bs. In uh, in college, I could have just went to class. But could have went, yeah. Overrated. But you know, we had Madden. We had Madden. More we NCAA's. Had, probably. We had Madden and Hangovers. Um, Raw two. Remember those games for the Xbox? Oh, well, they were not fun games. Uh, this is an interesting. Thing I saw today. The producers of Sunday's uh, Thirty Men Rumble, uh, Thirty Man Rumble, were Shane McMahon, Chris Park, Abyss, um, Jamie Noble, and Lance Storm. Uh, Lesnar and Haven then had input regarding the early part of the match, presumably where Lesnar dominated. Um, obviously, like, you know, that uh, Heyman's going to have a big part in whatever Lesnar's doing. Uh, WWE Chairman Vince McMahon was heavily involved in the finishing sequence of the Rumble and made the final call on Drew McIntyre winning uh, and the final call on the sequence with Drew eliminating Roman Reigns last. So, but hey, WWE never listens. They don't listen to me. Uh, regarding the 30 women Royal Rumble match that was put together by Adam Pierce, Tyson Kidd, Mickey James, and WWE Hall of Famer Michael P.S. Hayes, Triple H had input into the match on do, the day do, of the do. show to help out uh, and make match flow better. Um, both executed really well. Were, you know, in a world where WWE gets crapped on for anything and everything uh three count thursday we'll praise them that, well at least part <laughs> at least part of us will uh devin gave it a b plus jason gave it a b um yeah no i just i i, I loved it maybe it's just because it, it got my mind off shit for a few that's hours that's also true uh, it came at a great time it sure did um all right obviously uh edge returned during the royal rumble he did he did oh. i know i'm surprised you didn't hear about Weird. that um and then uh, Monday night came out, delivered a uh, a really awesome promo uh, to close out Monday Night Raw, only to be interrupted by uh, everybody's favorite Viper, Randy Orton. But dude, rated RKO like yeah. it was hinted at it in it was, the. It was, we saw we saw the double. We saw it and then, out of nowhere, and, and then Edge eliminated Randy Orton. Right, and it happens. It ha- you it know, happens. every man for himself. Right, you know. Brother against brother, but we team, got rated against RKO friend. back. We did for a moment. For a moment, um, and then uh, and then, man, Randy Orton did the. Would look like he was going to do the old, the old neck in the chair, stomp on the. Yeah, and then hit him in the back a little bit, right? You know, Uh-oh. and then uh, and then he actually did the old concerto. A goddamn concerto. <laughs> of all the things from yesteryear, that I that I like, I feel like that's probably one of the safer things. It is, but it like. I mean, look unless safe. you have like, I don't know, triple neck fusion surgery. Well, that's true. <laughs> um, but it just it man that that closing segment to Raw was just it was so good. And like, here's the thing: like, there's nostalgia there, there's history there, there's character work there, and that's why I'm like, look, you can have a five star match. You can have a seven-star match in the Tokyo Dome. You know, matches are great, and I I love good matches. And I can if I if I watch Wrestle Kingdom, um, if I turn Wrestle Kingdom on because it's still going, um, you're gonna see great matches. 
Right. You're going to see great match after great match after great match for hours <laughs> and hours, and then it's going to stop. And then tomorrow you're going to have great matches do it all over, on right? great matches. Um, but like it was this, it was the moment here though. It's the moment. It's the story. Like if you don't have good stories, you just have a fight. Right. That's what separates for me, pro wrestling, sports entertainment, whatever you want to call it from boxing, UFC, kickboxing, whatever. But I think therein lies, I don't want to say the problem, but it's the definition of it. Because you can look at people that are like NWA purists that will separate pro wrestling and sports entertainment. Sure. And and the WWE has gone on record numerous times. And then they were talking about, I don't know, I'm assuming you watched the 24. Oh, yeah. You know, about WrestleMania being the biggest night in entertainment. Mm -hmm. They'll drop the word sports entertainment and they're just calling it entertainment. Right. This is the biggest night in entertainment. Yeah. So, like, people will split pro wrestling from the word sports entertainment or entertainment. I still call it wrestling. It's wrestling. Right. To me, it's all the same. I enjoy all of it. When I a really bell, do. When a bell goes... And you're in a squared circle. Right. It's wrestling. Right. I don't care. I don't care what got you to that moment. But once a bell rings, it's pro wrestling. Right. Pro wrestlers. It's in, it's, in, it's in a ring. Yeah. There's different flavors of it. Sure are. But God damn it. I like ice cream. Fucking right. I, almost, I like almost Chocolate, every ice cream there is. Vanilla. Neapolitan. Love Neapolitan. I'll eat it. Give it to me. Now. You like Rocky Road? Let's have it. I, I love Rocky Chocolate Road. Chocolate marshmallow? Fucking love fucking it. I love it. Chocolate peanut butter, fucking love it. Right. Mint chocolate chip, fucking love it. What about pistachio? It's all right. I don't know if I've ever had pistachio. It's all ice right. Cream. It's not my favorite. You know, coffee ice cream. I don't love I it. I love coffee ice cream. I don't, but every, it's all right. Every so often, I'll get in a mood for like a butter pecan. Oh, butter pecan. Every so good. often, I'll get in a mood for like a butter brickle. You want some moose tracks? I love a moose tracks. Sometimes I'll go to like a like an ice that's cream. That's like the Canadian. That's like the Bret Hart ice cream. The moose tracks. <laughs> Uh, every so often, I'll go to like a place like Fox Fox Meadow Creamery or something. Oh, she so wants some soft serve, and I'll, like I'll get some soft serve, or like I'll look at some hand, you know, some homemade ice cream. I'll be like, some homemade man, ice cream. I don't, I've never tried this flavor before, but I'm gonna try it today. Sometimes I want like an orange sherbet, orange sherbet, Jim. Yeah, are you out of your mind? You say sherbet or sherbet? Orange sherbet. I say sherbet. Oh, that's weird. I think that's what it's actually called. Call it what you want. I mean, I would also go with the three flavors with the 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 green and the and, and the purple. Yeah, it's pronounced sherbet. No, you're fucking wrong. That's what it's that's what it's pronounced. I hear what you're saying. This is from Miriam Webster. Okay, what the fuck do they know? Sherbet. Pronounced sure S H E R dash but sherbet. Is so the usual sure, word for the frozen dessert. I feel dessert. like you're saying sherbet. <laughs> But this is sure but. If you're going to call it sure but, how Miriam wants you to call it, pronounce it sure but. Sure but. Sherbet. Sherbet. If I just say it like quickly, sherbet is the usual word for the frozen sweet dessert made from fruit or fruit juices. 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 Fruit juices. Thanks for educating me. Sherbet with an additional R. Sherbert with an additional R is the second. In the second syllable, and pronounced sherbet, is less commonly used. In Britain, sherbet is a sweet powder used to make a drink bubbly or eaten by itself. Oh, so sherbet. So I guess you can uh, either can make a little bit of the bubbly. So sherbet isn't wrong. You know what? Then I don't know why we're so fine. we're both we're both correct. We're both right, but we both feel wrong. All right. Well, yeah. I mean, sure. Mind blown. Next time on mind Gino. blown. Um. Yeah, next time on Dictionary.com talk. Um, what the hell are we even talking about? Uh, Edge? Oh, oh, fuck. I don't remember. Rated RKO. Oh, RKO. Rated RKO. The closing to Raw. It was... It was. I, I, I That's what I need. I need the storytelling. I love good storytelling. That, that, that It was just so good. Commentary did great. They weren't stepping yeah, over each other. They just shut up. sold it. Speaking of, speaking of, let's jump to that real quick. Hold real quick, is there anybody? Would you? Would you, Jim? Would I, Jim? Ever, ever, 
take a concerto like in the ring <sighs> let's say you were edge would you be like all right because you know what it would do to that story um and again it's it's randy orton hitting you not i don't know I'm, sasha banks who would hit you in the head fucking regardless <laughs> um it, if it was the right person delivering the move i i and i trusted them then sure okay so you would trust like a radio, like a veteran. Yeah, somebody. Yeah, somebody. If I've had history with them, and they're they're a trusted veteran, they're friends. Okay, yeah. so they'd have to have done it before. Yeah, like I wouldn't. Uh, you know, I wouldn't just. I wouldn't just do it for for anybody. So like, Bob Rude, you'd be like, ah, oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe He's not Bob necessarily Rude. done concertos before. I mean, Edge has done them. Sure. As well. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. It would probably have to be somebody that that I know has done them. Okay. Jason says, hey, guys, this is a wrestling show. Look, we're fat, Jason. I don't know what to tell We're you. back to wrestling. Chill out. Like, we're, we're, we're fat, man. Like, it I is. I mean, I'm a, not a big sherbet eater to begin with. Yeah, man, man. Okay. Well, you, you're both ones correct, Ryan. <clears throat> I want to make sure I talk about them both then. <laughs> Tress Orton. So, yes, not like Bailey or Britt Baker. Oof. Um,. She's a doctor. She's but a tennis, speaking you know. of it, you, you, you brought up uh, about commentary. Um, Byron I? Saxton I did talk about is commentary. now the third man uh, on the Raw announced team with Todd Phillips. Is it Todd Phillips? Todd Phillips. I feel like that's the guy that does the movies. Todd Phillips? It's Todd Phillips. Is it Todd Phillips? And now Todd Phillips is the director, man. Now I feel like I'm Jericho. I feel like Todd Phillips definitely directs things. Todd Phillips. Tom Phillips. Yeah, you're right. Todd Phillips, an American film. Tom Phillips. Yeah. Yeah, Tom Phillips sounds I right. copied this from somewhere online. <laughs> well, maybe Tom, Tom Phillips. Tom Phillips. It's Tom Phillips. He's got a great look for a commentator. He does have a great look for a commentator. For what that's worth. Um, Vic Joseph out of Monday Night Raw for I now. I liked old Vic Joseph. I like Vic Joseph. It's not like he's gone from the WWE. He's just not uh, on Raw anymore. Uh, for the time being, it looks like Jerry Lawler is still there to stay. So, um, he's got to deal with that. Uh, but uh, I love uh, Tom Phillips on commentary is great. Speaking also of uh, announced teams and commentators and stuff like that, <clears throat> my favorite backstage interviewer in the history of this great sport, Sean Mooney, is back in professional wrestling. He is now part of NWA and NWA Power. Thought you were going to say me. Well, I mean, you're number from two. the the KPW days. The old KPW days. Um, Rip. So, congratulations to Sean Mooney. He did it, and uh, I'm probably going to watch this week's Power while I'm uploading tonight's episode. Oh, there it is. Because uh, I, I I know Sean Mooney is on is on this week's episode. You know he's there, Jim. I know he's there. He's waiting for me. Um, no, just I I thought this week's Raw was really good. Um, I thought they 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 tied things together from Royal Rumble really well. Um, and uh, <laughs> I love Jason. He's like my inner monologue. Taz is now trash. Because <laughs> he's with, of course, AEW, which is garbage can. Um, yeah, he, uh, whew, he's not a fan. He is not a fan. Um, hey, you should look up uh, Nyla Rose and then check out her match from Dark this week. Yeah, or just if you jump on, on Twitter and search Nyla Rose Botch, which I don't even know, necessarily know it was Nyla's mistake. Um, there's a pretty glaring uh, whoops to daisy that could whoops. have been edited out because it's a fucking edited show. Yeah. Like, I don't mean to, like, rip it, rip this apart. And I, like, I'll rip production mistakes. Like, I don't know, when Edge hits his first spear in nine years and you cut to a k fucking crowd shot. Boo. How do you do that? I How? Mean, WWE superstars were tweeting about that. <laughs> yeah. Like, People within I don't know. your own company are tweeting out how how much you screwed. Like, Edge's return, it's the Royal Rumble. He gives a spear. How how do you how do you screw that up? Like you you know you go to the crowd shot too often when you screw up the nine years in the making spear. Like, you're right. You're it's absolutely fucking. Right. Awful. It's unacceptable. Really it's unacceptable. It is. It's also unacceptable when you do a taped show. 
to leave a botch in there. That's where you should put in a crowd shot. So Dolph Ziggler, the one who ate that kick-ass spear, who cuts away from an official in-ring return while two opponents are running toward each other? Like, he then tweeted, people make mistakes. We all do. And I have made tons. That being said, a very special moment was inexplicably missed. Anyone got cell phone footage? <laughs> like, I mean, we, well, then, we have w- found some. WWE, I think. WWE has since released. Because, like, I mean, they have 40 million cameras. So it's all caught somewhere. So they have released, like, you know, alternative angles. What a spear, though. What a sell job by... <sighs> What a bump. Here's what a the thing. Great, I'm not a big Dolph Ziggler guy. Dolph. But that guy that guy can sell. That guy is one of the great sellers. And he should be. He's Shawn Michaels light. Shawn Michaels was always a great seller. I'm not gonna lie to you. If we're talking about buying and selling tonight's night to buy WWE, WWE stock. WWE stock. It is down. It is down for it sure. It is down. Um But uh yeah, obviously, uh, Edge coming back. Uh, it has been reported that it's a three-year deal. It is more of a like uh, high-profile type spot. Like sure. he's not going to be wrestling on Raw every week, nor fucking should he. I agree. Um, Does it but I'm thinking to? like Mania, SummerSlam, uh, Survivor Series, right. Royal Rumble, right? Even an extra couple, one or two, a couple you of want. Saudi sure. spots. Yeah, get that. You money. know, get that. Get that sand money. I saw it today. It was like some. Spoiler warning, major sand money. Why wouldn't you just call them sand dollars? <laughs> you're, you're right. I should. I should. I should. <laughs> I'm so, that's so dumb. I'm fucking over this show already. <laughs> sand dollars. Oh God, oh, I hate boy. my. Oh. oh boy. Um. <laughs> um. If you feel inclined, follow us on Patreon. You don't even have to like pay money. We do put some stuff up there for free every once in a while. Patreon.com slash Recount Thursday. It's two extra bucks. You get our pre-show post show. If you like jokes like that, I don't even I don't even know if we recorded a pre-show post show getting ready for the show today. Did we? Yeah, no, we definitely did. Oh, did you record something? Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, shit. yeah. Oh yeah. We Wait, that's something, something we do every time. Okay. I didn't even know you hit record. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, so well, Ryan's gonna have to tune in just to find out what the well, hell he what got I caught said. saying. I hope it wasn't bad. Uh-huh. <laughs> um Sand dollars. Um, Sand dollars. <laughs> but uh, it was like today, it was like major, st- you know, major WWE star expected for uh, Saudi Arabia show. Spoiler warning. So I'm like, ah, fuck it. I'll click on it. It's like ha- like Hulk Hogan expected to ha- you know have some role over there. I'm like, oh, like last time? Because like that's what the Saudi dude's paying for. That's right. There brother. should be no surprise that Hulk Hogan's being sent over there. No. I'm like, just leave him over there, maybe. Like. <laughs> Yeah, keep that tan. Like, you know, you're he out in the middle of the fucking full desert. beard, though. Oh, my God. Yeah, that? he's got to shave that all. That was Terrifying. freaky. Like, that's not okay. It's not. J- you know, two things that are not okay. Hulk Hogan, full beard. John Cena with hair. That's true. It's just, it's really. Are you sure about that? I am, John. I really, really am. You've seen the pictures then of, like, his Fast and Furious promo. I hate it. So much. Like, I just hate it. He is, he's like Vince's son. He's the son that Vince wishes he had. Like. Here comes the money. Nope, not this guy. I don't know where my John Cena is. Uh, don't you have John Cena things? Well, I, I, I know I have them somewhere. I can't find them. Hey, fuck you, buddy. Why would John you? Cena! There it is. Aren't, aren't your John Cena's all together? His name is John Stamos. <laughs> I love it. That one will never get old. It's one of my favorites, by the way. That one will never get old. Uh, all right, here's something I want to talk about. Um, Friday Night SmackDown. Um, I feel like it, it gets lo- kind of lost in the mud a little bit. Friday nights, it's uh, it's tough. Jason made a joke. He says, "LOL, you can't see them." <laughs> the John Cena. Gonna, that's a solid good job. One. Uh, I like you. I like you. Um, Friday nights are tough. I don't, I don't watch SmackDown live li- or SmackDown comma live every week. Um, cause it's no longer SmackDown live. Um, but it is still live. It is still live, but it's not called SmackDown. Live. Right. And I, I used to always watch SmackDown live live. I but, did too, but I don't, 
I rarely watch SmackDown live anymore. I rarely watch SmackDown anymore. Yeah, I, like if I miss it, um, I usually get kind of lost in the weekend, especially because of like during football season. Right. So now I'm about to find out what my weekends are more realistically like. Well, we're getting close to golf 30. Oh, shit. And it's also um, soon XFL time. So I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to give it a go. I am too. I'm going to try real hard. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to make it more than two weeks, though. You don't think? I don't. We should set over-unders for all of us. For Like, we should set an over-under mark and see if we can hit it. I might be a one and done. <laughs> Jim, um, I don't... It just all depends if the football's good. I don't I just take want it to, to be change good. very well. Well, that's you're not I, wrong there. I don't I don't like new things. You're, that, that is very true. Um, that said, like, SmackDown, like... Because I think their ratings numbers come out on Mondays. Sounds right. Uh, Because, you know, the weekend. Because God forbid somebody works on the weekend. (laughs) Right. What are you doing this week? Nothing. Um, So every week, like, you know, I see people talking about how, like, oh, Fox can't be happy and, uh, you know, this and that. Last week I saw the headline. uh, I guess they did come out on the week because it was right before it was on Sunday. The wrestling Obser- wrestlingobserver dot com posted SmackDown rating falls before Royal Rumble. <clears throat> right. When if you clicked on the article, it's clear clearly stated in the article, um, SmackDown was the highest in the key demo. Which right. you know those guys and their fucking key demos. And they care about key demos. They love the key demos for Wednesday night, and they. Uh, so like if you just read the article, I'm like, wow, what did, like a miss? And I mean, it did it did its job. Shocking. It did its job. I clicked on a it. WWE wrestling journalist story, right? Is misleading. Um, guess where you won't find those three count Thursday. So I I uh, I saw this today. It's at Friday's Royal Rumble Go Home edition of SmackDown drew an average two point four four eight million viewers on Fox. The final number is down from the overnight viewership that was released Saturday morning. Uh, which was an average 2.47. Uh, number is also down from last week's 2.562. Okay. Uh, SmackDown do a, drew a 0.7 rating in the key 18 to 49, 0.9 in 25 to 54, 0.4 in the 18 to 34. Um, SmackDown ranked number one in the 18 to 49 demographic on network TV this week for the sixth week in a row. SmackDown also came in at number one in the 18 to 34 demo for the sixth week in a row. It tied number one for the 25 to 54 for the second week in a row with 2020 and American Housewife. Um, SmackDown came in at number six for the night in viewership on network TV behind Hawaii Five O, Magnum PI, Blue Bloods, 2020 and American Housewife. Blue Bloods topped the night with 5.285 million viewers. So again, when like... The first time NXT beat AEW, those assholes over at uh, Wrestling Observer were very quick to point out AEW won the key demo, even though more people watched NXT. Um, uh, Live PD and AE and A and E topped the night on the cable 150 with a 0.57 rating in the uh, 18 to 49. Uh, Hannity topped the night on cable viewership with 4.043 million viewers. Those old people love Hannity. Good Ooh, Lord, no. you ain't kidding. You go visit, you go, like, I visit my grandma in the hospital, you can just hear Hannity on, like, half Every the Every single time. Walking, walking down the halls of the hospital. Um, so, this is a look at 2020, um, the, the 2020 SmackDown viewership tracker. Uh, the first week, it did 2.413 with a point seven, two point four nine seven the next week with a point eight, two point five six two and a point eight, two point four four eight with a point seven. So steady. So 2.4, 2.5, we're not fluctuating Fairly steady. too steady. Two and a half million people right. are watching it right. every week. And it's wrestling. This isn't broad, like, right. sitcom or, like, live action. Right. Like, this, this is, is wrestling. Uh, Fox which is a TV. Artist, uh, the uh, category anyway. Like, are you, yeah, what? Um, the average viewer in 2019 was 2.164 million viewers. Obviously, that was mostly on USA. 2018... They averaged 2.35 million viewers. And in 2017, they averaged 2.5 million viewers per episode. So guess what? They're right around the same. They're right, right, right. Um, Come on now. But like... It's, and again, now we are on broadcast, not cable. Broad, Yeah. But in 2020, I feel like cable is the easiest it's ever been to get. Sure. 
But it's like, okay. Okay. So the big thing in, in Wrestling Observer last week was that, you know, viewership numbers were down. Um, but here's the thing, too. Like, if 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 the, your, your top show of the night anywhere on TV did, like, 4.0, um, you know, SmackDown's doing 2.5 million viewers. They're winning the key demo. Like, what does that also just tell you? Like, it, it seems to tell me that, like, TV viewership just traditional tv viewership just isn't the same right and it's friday night yeah that's a hard sale anyway oh absolutely absolutely I was not doing anything on tuesday nights at eight o'clock nope friday nights at eight o'clock i don't think i've been home a friday night at eight o'clock in the month of uh, the, the month of january yet home now have i made it home at some time during that those two hours Probably, yeah, and there's but been... I'm not starting at 8 o'clock at night being like, I want to sit down and sit watch down and wrestling. Watch or there's been times where I've like I've gone out uh, to dinner, gotten my grocery shopping done because Friday night. You are a Friday night. grocery night, right. Um, come home, start watching SmackDown, and then I'll get a call. Hey, you want to go to the bar? Hey, you want to go to here? Hey, you want to go out here? Hey, you want to do this? Sure. Then guess what? I'm not watching SmackDown right. live anymore. Right. You know, and then I'm then I'm going to uh, DVR or the YouTube. So like it's it 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 just comes back to the same thing is like, it's, you know, it, it's people aren't absorbing things the same way. We're not sponges, folks. Like the only things that I watch that I watch live, uh, Raw and Pornhub. Well, they're not live. If you get on and pay premium, my guy. Why would I do that? Live. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how the, how am I supposed to tell I you? I use your subscription. <laughs> it's your credit card. <laughs> That's why you wanted to borrow my credit card. Um, I told you I wanted to hell, buy... How the hell am I supposed to tell you I wanted to buy Fozzie anyway. tickets and, and Pornhub Live. I can't... I have trouble typing with one hand anyway, so... That's where your um, swipe comes in handy. The, yeah. Oh, yeah. I swipe something. Um, <laughs> but, like, I watch Raw Live. I watch uh, Sports Live, be it hockey, football, whatever. Um, we watched the, the Jeopardy Greatest of All Time right. finale live because we didn't want to be spoiled. So appointment TV that could be spoiled right. is what you want. Right. That's fair. Like, and it's usually usually what AEW or NXT, one of those two is typically. Yeah, watched. and honestly, I, I usually watch AEW first. Because you can. I feel like NXT's. They didn't overrun this week either. They did not because Miz and Mrs. was back. Right. Um, did you watch that? Not yet. It's it been just, a weird week, dude. I've been. Yeah. It, it, it's, There's a lot going on. And uh, like w the Super Bowl week. It is The Super Dan Bowl Patrick week. show um, is always is like on location. They have like tons of guests so we always watch we always record because they air on radio and tv the the pandatric show the the pandatric show. show um so uh you know we watch that we actually like watch that okay during super bowl week so it uh you know it, like i i just feel like everybody uh vince russo dave Meltzer, wrestling observer like that that continues to harp on like tv ratings people on wrestling twitter who really don't understand how things work like they just aren't taking into account the fact that people aren't absorbing media and content the same way they did, I don't know, 20 years ago when Vince Russo still wasn't relevant. Like, it just... Oh, you can't say he wasn't relevant then. Okay, he was relevant then. I mean, he was the shit that WCW. he did for... Yeah. <laughs> True. Um, no, like, obviously, you know, the, the the he helped... He had a hand in changing the wrestling business. And for that, like... You, he, it is. We've said on here, and I've even said on here, even though I, I do not like Vince Russo, that like Vince Russo should be in the WWE Hall of Fame. Fair. Vince Russo will never be in the Hall of Fame. That's also fair. But he should be because there's there's arguably very few people from a non wrestler perspective that were more important to the, the WWE in that era. That's fair. That's a fact. 
I mean, if not him, probably Vic Venom. Oh, it's true. <laughs> they should. <laughs> they should get somebody to play Vic Venom. Unless, uh, unless Vince, pl- unless he owns that, like if the WWE owns the rights to Vic Venom, they should just have somebody that like Russo doesn't like to play Vic Venom. Induct Vic Venom into the Hall of Fame. That'd be hilarious. And it just be he- the end. The an- whoever, right? Or just have the antagonist. Have Matt Riddle dress oh. up as Vic Venom. Does, does he not get in, along in, with, in, with Riddle? Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh. But just because he's his bro. Oh, oh, okay. Gotcha. I gotcha. So have him dress up as, as Vic Venom. Uh, have a him, shadowy figure. And have his like, induct- induction speech just be, bro, and then walk off. Um, but yeah, it like... The and and like again, we we post the uh, <laughs> Jason says Vic, Cornette could be Vic Venom. <laughs> be, that would be pretty. That would be, that would be epic. Um, but uh, like we we post like the Wednesday Night War like rating numbers. Do we? Um, yeah, I posted them again oh, today. Right. Okay. I usually post them on Thursday afternoons when they come out. But again, it's it's more for fact, like if a factual purpose. Sure. Like again, I watch them both. I do or too. I either watch them both or I end up not watching them either of them at all. Okay. Like week to week and and like if I get if I get too far behind like I am not going to go back. Both shows are going to recap what happened. Like I like I'm not going to I'm not going to spend a shitload of time uh going backwards. Uh cuz it it would just take forever. Um uh Becky Lynch. let's talk about Becky Lynch. Because this week um, I think she both, uh, well, she, uh, unveiled a new moniker for herself. Oh, the goat, the goat, the greatest of all time. Bah. Yeah. She had the, she had the jacket to prove it. Uh-huh. Um, but I also think she foreshadowed, uh, who her WrestleMania opponent will be. You think so? Right. Because she made it a, a very clear point that she has gone through the raw roster and there is nobody on that roster. Up and down, nobody up and down, on that roster. Nobody on that roster that that should should face her. She's claiming she's, she's the goat. She's beaten them all. She's the greatest of all she time. She will now be wrestling Tom Brady at WrestleMania. Hundred percent. It's in the books. I mean, folks. Brady had that that picture that he posted on Twitter. It was all cryptic and shit. Cryptic and shit. He's he's coming, man. He's coming. He's coming to the WWE. My face. You come in my face. I'm gonna fight you. That's how it is. There folks. it is. That's how. That's what I mean. That's how it's done. Oh. Um. I think. I think it's Baszler. I, I like old Shaney Bays. Old Shaney Bays. Um. I'm totally down for that. Like I think Shayna Baszler come to Raw face Becky Lynch. It's a logical entry of her onto Monday Night Raw. Sure is. And then she's ready. She's ready. She's ready. Uh, she she's legitimate to the point where, uh, you know, she doesn't need to like build herself up in the women's division to like to be the one that could dethrone the man, the goat. Um, and I think it's a it's it's a perfect person to get the title off of Becky. Because the, like she's not going to look weak by losing to Shayna Baszler. Bingo! Like it to me that this is the perfect like Becky's had this title for a year. Like we'll have this title for a year. Right. Like, like it's time. It's time. And the, like I don't see a better person that's going to do it. Like unless you bring Ronnie back and you finally get that one on one match that we haven't gotten yet. Yeah. Which I mean I I don't think is happening and based on reports. Uh. Ron, Ronda Rousey not going to be a part of WrestleMania, so Shayna Baszler is the logical selection. Right? Wasn't she just on uh, Corey Graves' show? Yeah. After the bell. Okay. Yeah i I've gotten very disinterested in that show since the New Day podcast. Okay. Came out. The New Day podcast is really good. So, like, I know, like, everybody loves our show. They're like, they're like a good number two. All right, that's fair. To us, they really are. <laughs> to us. <laughs> Um, just to us though. Yeah. So I was reading uh, Jason's comment. Reading there. is tough sometimes. <laughs> it is. It is. It's I been a long you. week. Uh, let's let's hit a couple of news items here. 
Um, speaking of Ronda Rousey and The Undertaker, uh, there, there's been an update uh, possibly to both of their status uh, on WrestleMania. Uh, the Undertaker reportedly negotiating his potential spot on the grandest stage of them all with WWE officials. There's no word yet on who he might feud with for the big event. So this is different from the report we had last week that said he's not doing WrestleMania. He's doing the Saudi show. There's not enough time between the two for him to like recoup from the, uh, from the match. Cause like, I mean, let's be honest. Like it's, it's scientific at this point. Like that dude's got a lot of miles on that body. Um, he's not going to be able to come out and wrestle like two weeks later or whatever it's going to be. Um, it's also noted the latest word on Rousey is she will not be wrestling at WrestleMania. They wanted to make Rousey versus Charlotte Flair a WrestleMania singles match, which was the plan for 2019 until Raw Women's Champion Becky Lynch got so over following the broken nose from Nia Jax. It's been reported that Rumble winner Charlotte Flair will challenge Rhea Ripley uh, while Lynch will go up against NXT Shayna Baszler. These matches have not been confirmed. Uh... Rousey told Charlotte Gra- uh, Ch- Ch- Charlotte Graves, Corey Graves, uh, on After the Bell that she would like to see Flair challenge Ripley in April. Uh, Wrestling Observer also noted that Shayna Baszler will likely be one of the top women's matches this year, reportedly against uh, Becky Lynch. Um, what doesn't work for Charlie? Charlie, what doesn't work for you, brother? Um, let's see here. Uh, Samoa Joe was pulled from his tag team bout with Kevin Owens against Seth Rollins and Buddy Murphy on Monday Night Raw after coming down hard while performing a dive and coming down at a harsh angle, which he grabbed the back of his head, didn't immediately get up. The decision to remove Joe from the match was made by WWE uh, medical personnel and was 100% legitimate, not something that was booked as part of the match. Um, Everybody involved was pretty much calling the remainder of the bout on the fly. Uh, It is believed he has suffered a concussion. Uh, Safety first. Yeah, 100%. Uh, But, man, talk about a guy that, like, just can't buy any freaking luck. Uh, he it just, does the truth. Yep. It just seems time after time after time. Um, the uh, and maybe there was just too many miles on the car when you know, WWE bought that it. That could be. That like, after that could be Jim. Like you know, if you buy a used car with three hundred thousand miles on it, um, it's probably going to break down on you a few times. It could. It and then, sure that, it's could. a shame, man, because like uh, you know, Samoa Joe's one of those guys that it, that you. I think we all kind of played the. Uh, like the what if game. Uh, and you know, what if he comes to the WWE? What can he yeah, do yeah. when you start getting like the Kevin Owens and the AJ styles? It's like, well, this could be a lot of fun, right? There's a lot of, there's and a man, lot. It just, it just never really seemed to be, I mean, I hope he, he gets okay. Uh, I think he has a great future in commentary. I think whenever so. he's done in the ring, but man, this, this one's a bummer. I feel like we got to talk about Andrade too. Let's hit that. Yeah. Let's talk about it. All right. So Andrade that. gets suspended. 30 days, uh, wellness policy violation. Uh, we saw the angle on Raw. Like, it came out, like, in the third hour of Raw. Yeah. Like, after he took, the like, the DDT spot. Apparently, they, they found out that day. Okay. Um, which, rewrite the angle. Yep. Takes the DDT on the floor. Um, great spot for Humberto, though. It is. Like, showing a little bit of, a, like, anger, hatred. Yep. Uh, shows some depth to that character. Um so, uh, great sell by Zelina, too. Just how good is Zelina Vega? So great. Love her. Um, then it comes out, Andrade suspended. Right. Um, so, WWE does not take the U.S. title off of him. Right. 30-day suspension. Right. Um, some people pretty pissed. Uh, other people are like, eh, I like Andrade. It is what it is. Um, there's, a, there's a portion of uh of the audience that like has trouble at least in my opinion separating reality from kayfabe okay um because like yes in reality he got suspended in kayfabe where he's the champion he got hurt right like he he took a ddt on the floor right it's hard to come back from that sure it's is. concrete sure you is. saw him pull the mat up sure is there's concrete under them mess all right um go back 20 years when there wasn't twitter <laughs> right like right you know, like like that's the thing. He got his head fucking hit off the cement, and he's yeah. gonna be wrestling. He, you know, for he's not weeks. gonna wrestle for a little while. He got hurt. Well, he, he got hurt. Um, you know, so people are like, "Well, if you know, Naomi got stripped of the title because she couldn't compete in thirty days, 
uh, then Andrade should have to lose. That the was title. a year or two ago, though, wasn't it? With the sure. Naomi thing. Yeah, and I mean, like, obviously, Brock Lesnar. Brock does, Lesnar does, 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 doesn't defend so it every. It's kind of days. hypocritical to do it. Um, you know, I think that, that one of the things we always I always come back to is stop applying logic to the illogical. Okay. And like, you you can call me you can call me an apologist, whatever. All of it's true. Um, but uh, like. Would I have been mad if they would have taken the title off him as a punishment? No. Would not have been mad. Like, if you screw up, there is consequences. Right. However, part of the reason why he uh, has not been stripped of the title is because apparently Paul Heyman, who's in charge of Raw, mm-hmm. fucking loves the guy. Here's the deal. Maybe the Matt Riddle 41 seconds in the Royal Rumble was a bit of a punishment for his beef that he had backstage and he caused a riff. Sure. Maybe it wasn't. I don't really give a shit. No. Andrade didn't pass a drug test. I'd rather them not cheapen what the WWE United States Championship legacy They've could mean. They've been building it pretty well with just him. just bouncing it back to somebody for 30 days just for Andrade to win it back. So just keep it on the guy. Keep it off the air. That's fine. And that's the thing, too. Like It's four weeks. You're not even going to fucking miss it. <laughs> um. It's such a weird juxtaposition because earlier in 2019, when Andrade was like called up to the main roster, yeah. I saw everybody like, oh, this sucks. They don't, they're not going to know what to do with him. Andrade. They're Sienna going to ruin almost. Andrade. Then they took his last they name. They took his last name away. And they right. took the CN away. Now he's just Andrade. Just Andrade. Oh, they, this is horrible. Right. They're ruining him. No CN. Now. No BN. Now, he is the U.S. champion. U.S. champion. He's looked like a dominant champion so far. Legit. Put on, I mean, that that banger of a ladder match with Rey Mysterio. Really good. Now, you have probably a lot of the same people going, you got to strip that title off of him. Right. Like, here's the thing. And, And I'm not using this word in an insulting manner. But here it comes. Because... Chris Jericho even said this about the AEW World Championship. I love what you're going to say, Jim. He said it is a prop. Thank you. It is not much more of a prop than this one right here, Jim. That's correct. This championship right here. Yeah. Which not you, not I have won. Nope. Ever. Never won. Not Sheamus. This isn't Sheamus. It is not Sheamus. Not him. I mean, Sheamus has won that title. It's not his right now. It's not his right now. You're right. Right. This championship. Can't gym. wait to watch you fling it on the video. I'm pretty excited to see it. Here it comes. You're, it's not. It's pointing. not the real thing. But, right. It's a prop. Right. It is to further storylines in an already fictitious world. Right. Like it's not. Here it goes. Whoop. It's not. Like it, it's not a big deal. Right. Like it's not. It's not a championship. Like the UFC championship. Right. Where like. There was actual like blood combat for it. right, like a legit real fight. Right, and like here's the thing: I'm not di- I'm not I'm not insulting anybody. I'm, I'm not, not trying- saying I'm not saying the word prop to, to, to be insulting. If, if you ha- if you are good enough to have earned the spot that is given to you as insert company here world champion. Or right. intercontinental champion, right. or television champion. I love what you're saying. Or whatever, you are. You are great at your craft. Yes, they are recognizing your greatness. They are not going to put it on just some schlub, right? I mean, like Vince Russo would, but like today, they're not. Not today. Um, you know, it just like it, it, it's just stop again. Stop applying logic to the illogical. Right. You're, you're looking silly. It's a TV show. Right. Like, it is sports entertainment. Entertainment, yes. Like, results scripted. Show scripted. Results predetermined. Athletes performing. A hundred percent. One hundred percent. Absolutely. Athlete. Dangerous without question. Right. And I'm sure there were like some old veterans of the sport. God damn. Of professional wrestling. He's a heel. 
that would absolutely destroy us for sitting here saying what we're saying. Oh, absolutely. Like, really, really would. And again, I have I have more respect for for pro wrestlers than I have probably for for a, a a portion of professional athletes, like like professional like sports sure. athletes, because they're all athletes. But like, because like, do you respect wrestlers more or less than somebody like a Mark McGuire who lied like about cheating? Or uh, let's say, yeah, let's say Mark McGuire. Um, yeah, I uh, probably because the least like they're like wrestling and wrestlers are at least, uh, f- you know, upfront about what they are and what their product is more or less than somebody like a Lance Armstrong who for years cheated a hundred percent to get what he has gotten. 100%. More or less respect than somebody like Cheryl Crow who would sit by and let Lance Armstrong. Fuck Cheryl Crow. Got it. There it is. Ugh. Hey, fuck you, buddy. Um, Every day is a winding road. Yeah, like, I, I, like, again, if they would have stripped him of the title, that's fine. You have consequences. The fact that they did not, I, d- does not bother me in any way, shape, or form. He has been a great champion. Great the champion. U.S. title is, in my opinion... Now, is it as relevant, quote unquote, as it could be? No, nope. but they're working on it. Guess what? It's not going to be for the next month. Relevant either. So right. move on. You know, and the, like, there is a responsibility when he returns to get the attention of the the uh, the Bring audience. Back. Yep. Like. But yeah, I have zero problem with them not taking the title off. But on a three-hour show, you have Brock Lesnar, the the champion. Yeah. You're building toward WrestleMania. You have the women's tag team championships. You have a women's championship. You have Raw tag team championships. You have the Raw tag team championships and the twenty four seven champion. You have plenty of championships. Oh yeah, plenty to, be to go seen around and played with on Monday Night Raw for a fucking month. Just chill. right. Here's the thing: there's a Saudi show coming up that I'm sure Lesnar is going to be working on. So like, he's going to be around a couple of those weeks. Like again, it is thirty days. It is four weeks. Chill. It's going to be fine. Daddy. If this was like a 60-day suspension or something, then I'd probably be a little more upset about it. Um, I still wouldn't give a shit because it's just a fucking prop. Uh, Charlie says, did his brother-in-law hook him up with too much blue chew? And that's why he failed. Uh, it's possible. We, yes. did, we, we, don't know, we don't know what caused, caused him uh, to fail. Um, Jason says, "What? wait, Cody Rhodes isn't really 9-0 in 2020? And he's and now he come full back on uh, the Cheryl Crow stuff. Uh, Charlie says wrestler taking steroids does not bother me. They're not in a competitive sport, so it's not used to gain an edge on the pitcher, hitter, quarterback, what have you. Exactly, it's entertainment. All I heard him say, edge. Like here's the deal: when uh, when Jungle Jack Perry, Jungle, Jack. you know, can go toe to toe with uh, some of the biggest guys in that company. Sure. Guess what? It's a show. It's a show. It's a fucking show. Relax. It's a show. Have fun. And let it entertain you. Try it one time. Um, MVP uh, made a surprise return of the Royal Rumble. He also had a match on Raw this week. Lost to Rey Mysterio. He posted this to his Instagram on Wednesday night. One for the history books. My final WWE match took place on Monday Night Raw against my close friend and legend, Rey Mysterio. A great way to close out that chapter. The end of my career looms larger every month. It's been one hell of a ride. I'm not finished yet, but soon, very soon. Thank you at WWE and the hashtag WWE Universe for all the love. What an amazing week I've had. So there you go. Career is winding up. He is done in the WWE, but uh, it was a fun little surprise seeing him in both the Rumble and Raw. Sure was. Sure really was. Really cool. And then finally, uh, Alistair Black. There's been a, a lot of talk about his push. Kind of had a bit of a heelish. Uh, a promo this Monday on Raw. Um, a little heelish. Instead of, uh, you know, people knocking on his door, he's going to be the knocker. He's no longer going to be the knocky. Hello. Um, so, uh, you know, which which is kind of more of a heel way to go about it. Like, he, uh, you know, he's going to be on the attack. That's a little more heely thing to do. It is a little uh, more heely. Charlie says, if Marco fucking Stunt can have a competitive match, it's a fucking work. 
Oh, that's that gets a ding ding. He's not wrong. Yeah. Yeah, when Jericho said, also, like, I posted that to, the, to, to to our Facebook and Twitter the other week. You know, here's Jericho with his son. I can't believe how big right. he's gotten. Some people took that far too seriously. Way like, too Like, people seriously. are like, it's not Jericho's son. It's a, it's a jungle boy. And I'm like, well, first off, it's not jungle boy. Second off, Wait, so um, that's Mark it's, son. And I, like, I just kept hamming it up. I'm like, that is clearly Chris Jericho's right. son. Right, right. And, like, one guy just, like, wasn't getting it. I'm like, hey, dude, chill out. Chill. Like, we know it's Marco Stunt. Daddy, chill. Like we're well aware. Just shut the f- up. Like we know, it's cool. Just chill out. You love AEW. Sauce it. Like God. just, just sauce it. Just let it go. What's this one? Uh oh, Spadudios. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I forgot I threw that. That's one a fun one. Uh, but Alistair Black um, was reportedly in the running. Uh, for the uh, Lesnar match at WrestleMania. Heard that. Decision was made to go with Drew McIntyre. It was probably the right decision, considering it's uh, maybe a little early for Black. Sure. But uh, he was absolutely in them running for the decision, per reports. Um, It was also noted uh, that Black, along uh, with Andrade and Drew McIntyre, main guys that Paul Heyman has been wanting to push. Andrade is one of the real key guys. Aleister Black and McIntyre at the forefront of everyone that he's trying to push. Oh, all right, uh, all right, so all right. if those reports are true, I uh, I am thoroughly on board with all of them. Uh, Drew McIntyre, I f- and for me, uh, early uh, spoiler alert on my WrestleMania prediction. Here it is, folks. Uh, Drew McIntyre is going to beat Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. Big McIntyre for the WWE McIntyre. Championship. That's Big Jim's prediction. Um, but Andrade, Aleister Black are part of the big plans for Monday Night Raw. Uh, that uh, those are all good things uh, to me. Uh, John asks, "Who will the Fiend face at WrestleMania?" That's a great question. That is a great question. Um, who do you think he's going to face, Ryan? Well, we have Edge and Randy Orton, probably. Well, that'll be a match. Yes, that'll be a match. Boy, that's a great question. The Yowie, easy wowie. answer that nobody wants to hear: Daniel Bryan again is Roman Reigns. Oh, okay. Like that, that that Reigns will get the match and will get the win and be the first person to beat the Fiend. That should not happen, in my opinion. I think we can still keep going with the Fiend and be totally fine with it. Oh, right I'm now. I'm right. totally on board, especially after the uh, the match with Daniel Bryan. I think there's a lot more um, a lot more meat left on the the bone of of the Fiend. Yeah, well, um, that's a great question. I like I haven't heard any like reports yet at all uh in, in in terms of this like we i've seen the um obviously well we know drew mcintyre's called out lesnar i've seen that we've talked about the reports for the women's matches um yeah that's a toughie there's a part of me that would almost want to see a finn a finn balor but as the f- demon balor like we did not get um I mean, he's in NXT. in NXT doing other stuff. So, like, I think we can get that like it's next not, year. It's not there. It doesn't make sense to do that today. Um, boy, here's the deal, man. Like, if you, like, and I know, like, the Undertaker, the character, like the you know, the veil's been lifted a bit because he's already lost at WrestleMania uh, twice. Like, it doesn't necessarily have the same impact. But you give me the Fiend versus the Undertaker. Okay. Um. You know, I, I I would have no problem with that. Um, Boy, I would have no problem like if you find a way to continue the Daniel Bryan story. If you find a way to tie back the Miz into it, uh, Charlie says Kofi question mark. Um, I, I would have no problem with Kofi. Uh, I think the, I think they could put on a banger of a match. I think actually. the I think the the, the 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 character of the fiend contrasting with the New Day that would be fantastic. Uh, could stories. be a world of fun. Um, we've got some time to build something. I don't think, and that's the cool thing. I don't think there is an answer right now no. for that. Um, that, that and we, we are, we are 66 days away. We're getting close from though. WrestleMania. That, exciting. Those numbers are getting smaller and smaller. That's how days work. That's how days work. Um, and, uh, it, Devin says rumor has it that the fiend will not be dropping that title anytime soon. Well, thank freaking God. I, I like that. Rumor. that. Right. Um, did you see there now 
uh, they're now taking orders for the the replica fiend title. Oh, there's a replica one now. Yeah. Ugh. So I mean, I'm sure it's like cheaper material. Sure. Like, and I saw everybody like, oh, look at these idiots that paid like four thousand dollars, and now like, I'm like, yeah, because it's like right, hand made by Tom Savini, right, you they're, idiot. They're like horror collectors too. Right? Yeah. Like. You disrespectful, stupid idiot. Yeah, people don't get it. Like, these are these are mass... Like, the replica versions are mass-produced. Like, that's why I like the TV version of the WWE and Universal title right. that the, sold out real quick right. for $5,000, right. and a replica is fucking $400. There's a big difference, and Huge that difference. was even cheaper. Huge um, differences, folks. Uh, well, Charlie brings up a great point too. Let's I look at it here. Points. Raw has their match, so SmackDown will more than likely have an elimination chamber for the number one contender. Contender Devin said the same thing. Yeah, that's how we got to Kofi. But I thought we have a, I thought we have a fast lane, not an elimination chamber between now and then. I guess it is elimination chamber. Yeah, fast lane is usually later in the year now. I think so. I don't fucking know. They can just get rid of fast lane for all I can. hate it so dumb just stop please <laughs> okay Bob! Um, i'm begging you now no fast lane this year ryan got his wish now i have that sound for nothing i Can't broke my back that's um, a good one too but uh yeah so yeah i do an elimination chamber match uh oh fast lane canceled because of the saudi show well, fuck. <laughs> yeah. There you go, Ryan. Just one now other that the show women I got on there. No, you can watch it now. I can watch it now. The women are on there. They are. Get that blood money. I don't care. <laughs> did you um, hear, Jim, did you hear TNA is coming back for one night only? I've heard, but it, it, I haven't. Uh, beyond what? Disco Inferno. I don't think I've really heard. Impact Wrestling is bringing TNA back. Total nonstop action. There's no place like home as part of WrestleCon. Okay, I can get behind that. They have announced some competitors, Jim, from the old TNA days. Okay. Already announced Wildcat Chris Harris. Um, the mentioned Disco Inferno. Nice. Um, Chris Sabin, huge X Division. Oh, yeah, Chris yeah, yeah, Sabin. yeah. Um, from Aces and Eights, everybody's favorite motorcycle gang <laughs> faction, uh, D'Lo Brown and Ken Anderson. Okay. Big Papa Pump, Scotty Steiner. Holler uh, if you hear oh, me. Spadudios. And Amazing Red returning. TNA oh, I Impact. like that one. I These like are the one. announced ones so far. This piques my interest. Probably a show I'd want to check out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I would check that out. Big time um that's exciting to me yeah yeah i think that's definitely one uh uh that we're closing in on an aew pay-per-view as well i think there's one in uh early february there is an AEW. next sunday right oh crap is it that soon when is our evolution uh, just, revolution it's sorry. just revolution it, it's just evolu why evolution gotta, why you gotta do evolution that? this is why people don't like you <laughs> their main event has been made it is um chris jericho Versus John Moxley for the AEW <gasps> World Championship at Revolution. What other matches are on there, Jim? I honestly couldn't tell you right now without it in front of me. All right, let me uh, let me pull it up. I'm here sorry, I have failed everything. No, it's okay. And we are talking. Never mind. I'm not even gonna make the joke. It's it's in bad taste. It's ba oh, Petey Williams also announced. Oh, nice. Febru oh it's February. Oh, it's February 29th, so it's like a month away. So we've got some time. The only match announced so far. Is uh, Cody versus? So I am up on my AEW knowledge. John Moxley. Boom. John okay, Moxley. Got it. Got it. Thank you to Justin Roberts though for the uh, the new the uh, the drop there on the uh, new intro. He's a good guy. He's a he is a good guy. He is He's a good guy. A good guy. There's a lot of good guys over there. Um, Ryan, I think that's gonna do, I think that's gonna do it this week. I think we can. I think we can wrap this thing up. I think I think we we put in good work this week. I think I think we tried at least, <laughs> and that should be commended. We, we did. Uh, we we uh, um, 
Yes, we Dave, try. we are going to be at the uh, the Icons show in Philly. It's what coming up in. That's a- coming up. April. Kurt Kurt Angle announced the Ascension. Um, I know we have a couple guests that are going to be hanging at our oh, table. Elimination with- Chambers in Philly. Signing some How autographs. How do I not know this skis? shit? How? Jim, what is wrong with me? Are you even trying anymore? Uh, today probably not. Well, I guess we ought to get tickets for this. God dang it! Yeah, we're Sunday, not... March eighth, Wells Fargo Center. Dude, we are not good at this. We're not good at this. We're we're pretty bad at this. Oh man, we're gonna have to do better. Folks. But yes, uh, we we will be uh, we will be at the uh, the Icon Show. We will be there. It'll be a great time. So stop maybe, by. Maybe maybe we'll get Jim down to his first. Maybe maybe. Shut up and take my money, guys. I need you to. Uh, Stop what you're doing and go follow me on Instagram. Nope, nope, on Twitter. You can follow me on Instagram, too. I don't post anywhere, really. It is at R-Y-N and then the word eagle at R-Y-N, E-A-G-L-E. My last tweet happened two days ago, Jim. Yeah? And I said, can we chill with the fucking Christmas lights already? Here's the deal. my tweet. Here's the deal. That's it. I'm a big Christmas guy. Christmas lights, Christmas music, all of that. Uh, I was driving home last night from the bar. I only had a little bit of the bubbly. Didn't have a lot. Just had a little. Um, and like I saw somebody with their Christmas. And I almost like I w- if it wasn't midnight 30, I would have pulled over and knocked on their door and said, turn them off. That's it's just done. It's done. Ooh, let's just, it's let's done. just chill. You have now cleared a month. Let's just chill. It has been a month past Christmas. It's done. It's over. It's okay to be it's it's okay to be done. It's 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 really okay now. Uh make sure you are following us on Instagram. Check out uh, our woman of the week this week. You can follow me at Big Jim Sports. Make sure you're following the show at Three Count Thursday, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Go to three count Thursday.com. Make sure you check out our home network, NGSC Sports at NGSC Sports.com. We stream daily at and live at LeebSports.com. That is L-E-E-I-B Sports.com. You can find our merchandise at WhatAManeuver.net, as well as our Patreon, Patreon.com slash 3 Thursday, and our Collar and Elbow Brand deal, Store.CollarAndElbowBrand.com. Use the promo code 3Count, always the number three, never the word three. Thank you, Jason. Thank you for everybody who followed along and, and played along with us again this week. Uh, I, we absolutely love it. We, we would not be here with H without each and every one of you. So until next week, have a great weekend. Stay safe, stay smart, and go for the pin.